Hey, Oscar, can you hear me? Hi everyone, hey, I'm just uh, getting uh, started here um, and uh, getting ready to uh, start with the live build, but I want to make sure everyone can hear me. So if you can hear me, please say in the chat room that you can hear me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, Urban, thank you very much, Urban, for letting me know that. I'm using new software, so I'm trying to figure out how all of this works. Um, good, Anthony, nice to see you, Brick Studio. Um, I'm using all different, different software today, so I'm trying to uh, see exactly how all this works and uh, doing a few things like that. So um, we're going to get uh, started here in a few minutes. Uh, I have, uh, want to make sure the, the folks who... Uh, hey, Ray, how's it going? Ray, let me know if you can hear this. Um, because uh, I'm using new software today, so I want to make sure that um, everyone can hear me and everyone can see me and stuff like that. So, well, thank you very much, Oscar. I appreciate it, and I always appreciate your kind comments whenever I put up a video, and, and uh, you know, you're the first one to say, hey, thank goodness there's another Dr. McBrick video. So thank you very much, Oscar. I appreciate that. Um, so I think this new software that I'm using is actually on a little bit of a delay um, based on the actual um, YouTube uh, uh, system and things like that. So I'm trying a few things out today. I hope that this will work. Um, and if it works, then uh, uh, this will help me out and kind of take me into more of the professional realm and stuff like that. So I'm glad to hear that, Ray. I'm glad that you're on there. I'm going to start in a couple minutes here. I'm going to do a few things here, and uh, I'll be right back. Um, let me uh, just... Uh, Let's see. Hi, Piper. I see. I see my daughter got on here. Um, well, thanks a lot, Piper. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being on here. 
Um, and uh, you're awesome too, sweetheart. You're awesome as well. Um, all right. We're getting some folks on here. We have studs up. Anthony, DZ Studios, Urban Bricks. Anthony, uh, uh, Ray, Mondi, and Oscar. And, of course, Froggy Games, um, who is my my child. <laughs> Piper. Uh, so, uh, anyway, um, I don't know how many folks we're going to get on this, uh, this live stream today. But I am using some new software. So... Um, I, I'm, I'm going to give this a shot and see how it works. So you all are my first test case. Um, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So you might even see my hand come up here and stuff. When I press some buttons, I got to learn to press buttons with my other hand on the screen or a little more, um, stealthy, I guess. But, uh, let me see here. How can I do this so I can get everything arranged so that I can still see some of the comments and you all don't see the, uh, comments because uh, I don't want to get it in the in the camera and stuff like that. So, all right, all right, Sith Brick Animations, nice to see you. Nice, thanks for joining us. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to get started here in a couple seconds or a couple minutes. Here, I want to uh, make sure all of my stuff is hooked up. I have a whole bunch of things going on, and um, I, uh, like I said, I have this new uh, software, so I'm trying to see if it actually works to my satisfaction or if this is something that I don't know because I'm not able to see some of the stuff that YouTube normally would show me so um, I'm trying to figure this out so uh, let's see here um, can I get to my table yeah as a matter of fact I can I can show you exactly what's going on on my table right now so this is the other part of the software that I can actually build and do stuff like this and then when I want to I can just uh, switch back uh, to my mug here and uh, we can talk and things like that so I'm hoping that this system will uh, will work out and, and actually uh, you know make my live builds and things like that um, and live streams a little bit nicer and stuff like that how you doing Mason good to see you thanks for being here um, we are going to uh, get started so I think I'll go ahead and get started right about now Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and welcome to my first live stream using this new studio system that I have here and all these fancy bells and whistles and buttons and things like that. So I'm hoping that uh, um, it will uh, it will be okay for you and I'm hoping that uh, this live stream will be good and that you can uh, see it all and, and enjoy it and all that sort of thing. So if something is not right, please tell me in the chat because I'm following along in the chat on a special iPad here um, that uh, I, I've, I've got set up because the new studio system doesn't tap me into a lot of the YouTube stuff. So anyway, it's good to see you. It's great to see you, Mason. Uh, it's great to see everybody here in the room, all the people that have shown up. What we are doing today is we are going to be talking about this particular set right here. Um, this set is set 6195. It is the classic 1995 Lego Aquanauts Neptune Discovery Lab. Now, I have to say that this is brought to you by my good friends Ray, Juliet, and Brooke. They actually sent me this set to uh, build um, and to, uh, to, to, to show everyone and hopefully incorporate it into my, uh, my, my layout with Six Figs and uh, Figsdale and stuff. Um, I just can't thank you all enough, Ray, Juliet, and Brooke. Um, you all have been great friends of the channel. Uh, really appreciate it. It is uh, sunny here in Ohio, by the way, Ray, and uh, it is um, 1.46 over here, 1.46 p.m., and I know you're over there in London across the pond. Um, so, yes, thank you very much for, uh, for sending me the set. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate... Uh, I can't even I can't even tell you because when when you sent me this set, um, I, I got this in the mail and I, I want to read the letter um, that Ray and, and Juliet and Brooke uh, let me pull this up here um, sent me because uh, because this is just really sweet and as a matter of fact um, this is one of those things to where and I hope you don't mind me hope you don't mind me reading it or anything but this is an actual written letter it's not typed it's not printed it's not it's an actual written letter and it's something that uh, that we don't see very often anymore because um, of uh, you know technology the way it is right I got to do something about my hands because my hands keep touching these buttons uh, but anyway 
I wanted to read this letter because I got this. I, I just got I got this in the mail, and it's just really, really awesome. Um, so it says, Ray and Juliet, it says, your friends across the pond. Dear Dr. McBrick, or Mike, that's my name, uh, I hope this letter finds you well, and I hope this package is a nice surprise, and it certainly is a surprise. It's, it's a very surprise. I mean, I didn't expect to get something like this. Um, after our correspondence and email, uh, by email, I searched for the LEGO AquaZone Discovery Set 6195 and managed to find this complete one. Um, but sadly, it didn't have the box to it. That's okay. I, I'm not a box collector anyway. I like to play with the sets. I like to open them up and stuff like that. It says, my daughter had the pleasure of doing the pre-build to make sure that all the parts were present. And I know that our conversation, I know as in our conversation, you sadly had to sell your most treasured Legos back in the day due to reasons um, out of your control. And that is true. I, I had to, um, and it's not a sob story, but, you know, I, I had to make some money. I was, you know, I kind of had some hard times um, in between uh, uh, things going on in life and stuff like that, things happening. And so I uh, had to sell everything. And this was one of the sets that I had to sell. And uh, I really, really missed it. Um, and uh, uh, so it's, it's amazing that I'm, I'm, I'm getting this back. Uh, and I just, I just, I'm just very thankful, Ray. Thank you, and, and Juliet. Um, let's see, where did I leave off here? Uh, I hope this will bring a smile to your face and bring back treasured memories of you and your family building and playing with it. It certainly does. As a matter of fact, one of uh, the things I did was I talked to my two oldest, um, my 29-year-old and my 26-year-old, and um, one of them, my oldest, remembered it was like, oh yeah, dad. He was like, yeah, I remember that. Sure, that, that was great. That was cool. And the other one was kind of like, no, don't remember that, dad. <laughs> so, but I remember it and I remember building it and it meant a lot to me and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so anyway, so I, I just, I just really appreciate it. It does bring back a lot of memories. Um, and it will, as I, as I opened the set, I thought to myself, just seeing the base plates, um, made my kind of my, my heartbeat. Um, it would be great if you could uh, uh, do this in one of your videos, and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, anyway, um, it says, uh, thank you for giving us hours of joy watching your channel and keep up the good work. Ray, Juliet, and Brooke. Um, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart um, and uh, from, my, from my one son's heart. I don't know about everyone else, but at least for me and my older son, um, <laughs> we really appreciate it uh, because uh, this was something that, uh, that we played with a lot. And, and you know what? I mean, my, my, other, my other kid, you know, said, yeah, I kind of remember that after I showed the box and showed the, you know, showed the set and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, all right, so this is a great set. So let me take you over here um, to where, uh, let's see here, um, to show you kind of uh, what it, oh, let me take, I appreciate, I appreciate that. Um, let's take you here and let me just show you. And again, I'm using, I'm doing this software for the first time. So I'm trying to, whoa, trying to get everything straight. But this is what the instruction manual looked like. And one of the things that I really liked you know, Mason, I love this set as well, buddy. Um, one of the things I really like about this set is the base plates. And so, the, you know, this was back in the 90s when they had the three-dimensional base plates. Uh, and you just don't get those anymore. And they added a lot of heft to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, um, the sets uh, and in some ways made the sets seem bigger than what they were. But, you know, as a kid, now, I was not a kid. I was in my 30s when this came out. Um, but uh, actually, when this came out, yeah. Um, so, you know, and I had little kids. But it just seemed like such a huge set because of those, of those base plates. Um, and, uh, hey, how you doing, Plato? FG? Let's see. So, so, you know, if we look at some of the pictures, like this picture here, for instance. This is what, this was kind of Lego's... Um, picture uh you know kind of pr picture and stuff but i mean just look at that there's a submarine there's a crane there's a lab there's all kinds of movement and parts there's even there's even a kraken i call it a kraken but it's probably just a squid or an octopus or something and then there's there's a like a little tower there and all that kind of stuff so so i really really enjoy um, just the fact that there was so much stuff going on in this and, and the kids and I were able to build this and to play. I mean, we were able to play with the subs. We were able to do everything like that. So, so anyway, let me show you one of the base plates um, or actually this, this came with two base plates and these base plates are really, really awesome. So uh, let me get these over here and uh, set them up for you so you can, you can see them. I'll show you one because uh, I don't have two to put on the camera. I don't have enough uh, room on the camera here. 
So there is one, and if you look at that, you see the three dimensions to it. Um, you know, the studs on the top, construction, uh, you see all this up here. You can just attach all kinds of things to this here. This is probably a better view, to be quite honest, if I hold it like this. Um, you can see it this way. But it's nice and bright. It's blue. It's very, very, um, oh, I don't know. It's, it's sturdy. Um, of course, it's hollow on the inside, right? Uh, but as you know, with these 3D base plates, nowadays, these 3D base plates, and this is why I can't believe y'all got this for me, because just these things alone on eBay or on BrickLink and stuff, I mean, they go for, you know, anywhere between $15 and $35 a piece. Um, and there are two of them in this set. So this set is absolutely, I can't even get them all in the picture. Ah, this set is absolutely huge, absolutely huge. Um, Zabadok, it's good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. I'm glad that you were able to get on. And uh, it's uh, it's 1950 there, really. Wow. Well, all right. Well, I'm hoping I don't I don't keep everybody up here um, over in Europe. But I appreciate you all staying up and, and staying with me and everything. Um, again, I'm using some new software here. So uh, I am uh, just trying to, uh, to figure out exactly how this stuff works. And so if I seem like I'm, you know, not as uh, polished, as I want to be, um, it's because I'm trying to use this software. But I can do some nifty things with this. Like, for instance, I can do this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> I could turn that off. Or, you know, I can go back to our base plate here, that sort of thing. Um, but if you, if, you, if you notice this particular base plate, um, this base plate is used for a lot of sets, particularly the Islander set. Um, it's used a lot in the Islander set. It's used in the Native American sets in the Western line. It's the same base plate, if you know, with the creek going through. And I, w I would show you one, but unfortunately I'd have to tear, it tear apart some of Six Figs. But it's got the creek going through, has the little island out here, and then all the mountains here, and they build onto it. So Lego got a lot of use out of this base plate because they used to um, pretty much use this for everything. Uh, in terms of even, you know, the Paradiso line, all that sort of thing. Um, hi, Kyle. How are you? And uh, Anthony, I do watch Brixie, and I do like Brixie. I think he is a great Lego community, uh, a fall, and somebody who is just, just shot up there in terms of uh, um, the amount of people who support him and, and watch his stuff and everything. And it's because he, he provides good quality content. Um, yeah, these are kind of strange, Oscar. If you haven't seen these before, you know, I'm going to hold these close to the camera, and I don't know if you can see the detail, but if you notice, they don't have Lego on the studs. They're actually almost like waffles. So if you, like, if you run your hands on them, you know, when I rub my hands on them up here and stuff, um, what it is is it feels like little kind of little waffles up there. So um, it's, it's, it's really kind of interesting the way they did these base plates. Instead of saying Lego, you can see the little kind of the check pattern there that they have. On this one, there's even because it is under the ocean, um, and if I can, yeah, yeah, if I can show you there, you see they kind of do some painting and things. And so these really lended themselves to either a jungle scene, like in the Islanders, a Western scene with, uh, with the cacti and all that stuff um, for the, uh, the Native Americans or for these particular aqua zone and aquanaut scenes and things like that. So, um, so, so yeah, so that's, that's uh, the base plates and those, those two of them came with this set because it really is a, uh, a very, very large set. So, all right, I'm going to get started on the build, and uh, we can talk, we can answer questions, we can do all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll put the base plates back here because I don't want them to get ruined, and every once in a while I might reach back there and let me see here if I can grab some water and put it over here behind my, my switcher here. Um, so, anyway, uh, now let me show you the, the instructions because the manual itself, if you recall, um, looking at the manual, uh, you'll see how, how they were made back then. And one of the things when I got this, Ray, I saw this <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, this is going to be impossible to do a live stream and build and talk at the same time because these instructions that came, whoops, which way, which way am I going? These instructions that came with this set, if you notice, they're not like regular instructions that we have now in Lego sets. I mean, they pretty much say, here's all the pieces, figure out how to put them together. Um, and so I'm thinking to myself, 
This is going to be a fun build on live um, because uh, it's not like step one, step two. Nowadays, you know, this might have 50 pages in the manual because it would have, you know, first you put piece one on piece two and then you put piece three on piece four and each page would be kind of like two or three pieces. Not these manuals. As you can see, it's pretty much here's all the parts, put them together. If they happen to have a specialty part or something like that, then maybe they show you how to do it. But um, but this is it. This is what you get. So uh, I'm going to pull this back down here by me um, and uh, and go from there. Yeah, the instructions are very, very different, Ray. That's for sure. Um, what camera do I recommend? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, back to your childhood. It is back to childhood for a lot of people. Like I said, I was a parent of little kids at the time. And... Um, my kids and I love these sets. We absolutely love these sets. Uh, and uh, we used to play with them a lot because these were very playable. Um, and so uh, we could get a lot. Now I'm gonna, let's see here. I'm gonna have to, uh, th again, sorry, this is my first time doing this um, in this format. So um, these are both the same Aquanauts here. They both come with the same heads, torsos, and hips and legs. Um, and uh, what is this? Oh, this, that's, that's the, the helmet. And they come with this, the, uh, the respirator there, the, the tanks or whatever, um, so that you can uh, actually go underwater. Or the, the dry suits, I guess they would be, right? Dry suits. Um, and then, uh, let's see, there are the helmet pieces that snap on. Um, so uh, let's see here. So you can uh, see the... Uh, the guys and gals, um, pretty cool, pretty cool. So you could strap stuff onto them. The idea is that they could propel themselves through the water. I remember playing a lot with these, um, going through the water and stuff like that. This is just awesome, just awesome. Um, and so these came with two of uh, these particular figures here. Um, and uh, um, you get the two Aquanauts. I think four minifigs came in this set. And of course, there's no alternate face because back in the 90s, they didn't really do alternate faces. Um, but uh, these helmet pieces are really cool with the shields. There's no uh, glass or anything in there, or obviously plastic, but there's no shield in there. It's just kind of the suggestion of a shield. And of course, you pop these on and, and they can pop up. So uh, your figure can look at them and stuff like that. Uh, let me look at the, uh, see what else is going on. French, Francisco, nice to see you, my friend. Hello, hello. Um, that's so nice to see you. And Bretsky, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, it's great to have everybody in here. Um, thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, and let's see here. So we have the two. We have the two. Now we got to get started with the actual instructions. And, um, you know, like, I don't know how to hold these. I guess I'll hold them so I can see the instructions and then we'll do the build. One of the things that, uh, um, I don't know who it was, Ray or Juliet or Brooke, but whoever did it, thank you very much. Um, you put each one of the main builds in a bag. Um, and so this build here is all of the stuff for, and I'm gonna pour it all out, try not to lose it. This stuff here is all for this submarine. So um, that way I can build this pretty easy. Yeah, these are pretty awesome, DZ. I, I agree with you. Another thing that I love about this set, and you know what, Ray? I'll try to keep this set together, but if I decide that I can't put it anywhere in Six Figs, um, I'm going to put it up on my classic uh, shelf where I have my classic builds, like my old classic raceway and stuff. But look, this is an amazing part set, too, because look at these pieces. Now, these pieces, they don't make these much anymore, um, but these are just some weird, wacky pieces. Now, I know some of you out there, maybe some of your experts might know, they do make this piece. I've seen this piece before. But this piece here, this uh, kind of crazy, you know, side piece or whatever, I mean, they don't make those types of things anymore. And, I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. You know, the nice thing is that uh, if, in, even if you don't keep this set together, um, which I am going to keep it together, but even if you don't keep it together, you can use some of these really cool parts, and that makes it really, really a great set. Um, so I, I really like... Uh, like all the parts that they have um i mean let's you know just just there's a whole a whole bunch of these come like that so yep 1995 1995 all right so let's get started on this build you know what i'm going to roll up my sleeves not that you need to see my my ugly arms here but uh we're going to get to it 
and uh, start and see if we can get this. One thing I don't like about this new software that I'm using is that I don't get to see all of the chats and I especially don't get to see if anyone, you know, wants to super chat or do anything like that with me. Um, I don't even know if you all have the ability to do that with this new software I'm using, but uh, it really is kind of cool um, to uh, be able to, uh, to switch things on and off, um, to be able to do something like this. Find me on Instagram at Dr. McBrick. Isn't that cool? I love that. I love that. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so let's see here. So what I am doing now are, are making the engines. So there's four engines here. Um, and uh, I bet you Brooke had fun putting this together um, because this is, this is a really fun set to, uh, to just piece together all of these crazy, crazy parts. Um, let's see here. Uh, where can I find... And I'm going to keep building here for a few, and I will look. I know I'm on a delay, so I don't get your questions, actually, I noticed, um, for a while after I say something. So um, I apologize again. I'll tell you what. I'll just quit apologizing. You all get the idea. Uh, this is all kind of brand new um, and uh, fun. All right, so these are the kind of the engines. So um, the way it's set up here is uh, we have the, the two engines like this, and that's what the sub is going to set on. And so basically just use a nice big brick like this and uh that's the other thing about these sets from the 90s you know they weren't fancy in other words this right here is pretty much the jet that's just gives you an idea there's a hole there so there should be a jet that kind of propels you through the water and stuff um they weren't fancy there were there were, wasn't a lot of uh major fancy molds of course these are i mean these are kind of cool um but uh uh anyway it uh it uh gives you an idea of, of how, uh, let's see, how these things go along here. I think they go like that. Let's see here. Um, what do you think is better, Lego from the 90s or Lego from the 2000s? Uh, you know, Mason, that's a really good question. Uh, I have to tell you that I like both. Um, and it depends on the early 2000s. I like the, the stuff from the early 2000s a lot. Um, I like the 90s sets because the 90s sets, to me, had character. Um, and that character was such that um, you were able to really, really make your own stories. Um, you know, think of the adventurers, for instance. And I, you know I love the adventurers because you've, you've seen them in um, Six Figs all the time, uh, my, all my adventure sets. But, you know, that, that's not an IP, right? That's, that's, that's Lego's IP. It's their, in, in, uh, you know, um, property. But it's not an IP that, you know, they had to, oops, I did this wrong. See, I told you, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one, Ray, doing this at the same time as talking. Um, so, but, you know, but but the adventures were something that Lego came up with. And, um, and it was an amazing, great storyline. Um, and that's what Lego does so well, right, is make the great stories. Um, and so I really, really enjoy, if I had to, if, you know, given my, my choice or whatever, I would say I enjoy the most. And what am I doing here? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I enjoy the most the sets from the 90s because the stories that you could make with those sets, you know, you can do creative play with anything. It doesn't matter, right? I mean, Star Wars sets, sure. You can do lots of creative play, but it's still Star Wars. It's still something that you know the story for. So, you know, I've witnessed having five kids over my life um, and also myself when I was a kid and I bought Star Wars toys when they came out in the 70s. Um, I witnessed that I tended toward playing Star Wars stories and not making up my own stories, you know. Um, but with the adventurers, with uh, the Aquanauts here, with these types of um, sets, the pirates and things like that that Lego made back in the 90s, there weren't any stories to them other than the, the, the brief stories that Lego made and put in their manuals. Um, and so because of that, um, I'm still doing it wrong. Uh, because of that, you know, I just I just tend to think that that was a golden age for Lego sets, um, and that's just my own opinion. That's just my own opinion. Of course, like I said, I wasn't a kid then, but I, you know, I had kids, so I, I was looking at it from a parental type of thing. Um, all right, let me catch up here. Uh, thanks, Ray, for bagging those up. I appreciate it. It does make it easier. Juliet, so nice to see you. And I didn't realize that you had your own account, but it's great to uh, see you here. Um, and thank you very much. I, you know, I, you make me smile when you say, you know, when your family says, you know, I make you smile. So I just really, really appreciate it. Um, 
it <laughs> it took Brooke five hours to build. Well, you know what? I don't know if we have enough bandwidth for that here, but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot um, and go for it. So uh, anyway, um, no, I just I just appreciate it, Ray and Juliet, seriously um, for everything. Uh, do I have the Lego Fame 1999? No, I do not. I do not. I assume I, I assume you mean Lego on that. Yeah. No, I don't have that one. Let's see here. Okay, so I see what I'm doing wrong here already. Um, and i got to remember to do this to the camera. So I got, have to put all of these... You know the nice, the nice uh, thing about building vintage Lego sets, um, not doing a live stream. When you're just doing them on your own, you're not doing a live stream. Because it really is, it's kind of like rubbing your stomach and patting your head at the same time when you're trying to build and do a live stream and talk and watch the chat room and, 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 and do fancy things like this. Find me on Patreon. Um, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. It's, it's, hard, to, uh, it's hard to concentrate. Um, but when you're just doing it on your own and, and, and you're building a vintage set, and even with the instructions the way they are here, um, the nice thing is that we're used to a lot of these techniques. And because we're used to a lot of these techniques, it makes things go a lot faster for us. Um, that is, if I can find all the, the right pieces here. And I know they're all here because Brooke checked these out for me. Um, so they got to be here unless one rolled down and fell off. And that could very well be because I thought I saw a piece roll down the table. Um, it does make everyone smile. That is true. That is true. So what are some of your favorite sets? Do you like the sets from the 90s? Do you like the sets from uh, the 80s? Or if anyone knows sets from the 80s? Or, or do you uh, just prefer the new sets that they have now? All the Star Wars sets and all that kind of stuff. Because it seems like, it seems like, you know, now I got to give Lego credit. They uh, came up with, um, yeah, I do think a piece rolled down. Um, and you know what? I'm not going to get down there and get it right now. But that's okay. I'll get it in a little bit. Um, let's see here. Um, I do give them credit because they are coming up with the Monkey Kid sets. And those Monkey Kid sets, you know, are their original IP and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's exciting. Um, however, if any of you have had those Monkey Kid sets, those they're absolutely huge. I mean, they're huge. I bought, I bought most of them, and I can't use them in my city because they're so big. The simplicity of the older sets, according to Bretsky, sets better promoted trying to make your own creations, even have pictures on the boxes of random builds. I completely agree with you. And let's, let's see if there's any on here. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, as a matter of fact, you can see, you can see how, how in the old manuals and stuff, they used to show different ways of putting things together, um, that sort of thing. Uh, the box art. And I don't have a picture. I have a picture of the front of the box, um, but I don't have a picture of the back of the box. But, yes, when you lift that flap, and you see there was a flap on these boxes, and that's one of the things I really, really liked about the old boxes. When you lift that flap, there used to be various scenes. And then on, inside of that, and I apologize for not having the actual the, a picture of a box because they're so cool. On the inside of that, what you would see is you would actually see these these uh, you know cellophane type of uh, windows that would have major pieces of the set in them. And that was really cool because as a kid, you'd open that flap and it was almost magical. And they did that from the 70s when I was a little kid, the early 70s, up until through the 90s. Um, they had where you'd open the flap of the box and you'd see windows there. And it was almost like a window to your dreams, right? If you were a Lego fan. So um, that was something that was really, really cool. Francisco, I'm planning a theme for a world builder that is a chapter two for adventurers, this time with Johnny and his two sons and exploration. I like that idea. I like that idea. So you're kind of going with the second generation. That's really cool. That's really cool. Well, I will definitely support that, Francisco. I will support that on the uh, world builder. Um, you know, people ask me if I was interested in doing the world builder and stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I I'm going to let other folks do that. Um, like you, Francisco and folks, I, I think that you'll probably do, you know, a, a, a better job in some ways because I am so focused 
on six figs at the moment in figsdale that uh, i just don't have the uh i honestly i just don't you know don't feel like uh, um don't feel like 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 uh doing it i guess right now you know another thing that these pieces came up with are these pieces right here um and these are really cool because if you look at them you can see the oh hi adrian how are you adrian stopped by my stepson adrian stopped by and uh, i don't have a oh, i don't have a camera on his uh, uh to to show him but he could probably sneak down in here real fast hey wave to everybody buddy <laughs> this is a weird camera. You get a hand. Yeah, I know. Isn't this a weird setup? I got everything set up here. I can do all kinds of stuff. So, um, but yeah, this is this. These are actually these are actually some of the pieces that uh, um, that I, that is a reason why I like this set. They're dark blue, just like you would be under the ocean. Um, and I'll tell you what, you um, these are almost perfect. And I know you guys wrap these up, Ray and Juliet. You wrap these up really nicely when you send them to me, and I appreciate that because. These don't have any scratches on them. Now, these were made out of a harder plastic or harder material than they're made out of today because now they're required, I think, by law to make them out of a certain type of chemical, um, which makes them more scratch prone. But these uh, didn't scratch as much. Um, so, so anyway, so yeah, so we're going to get that. And look at all of these printed pieces. That's the other thing about this set. No stickers. They were all prints. There's some sonar down there um, to show where the sub is and things like that. And uh, so we'll just put that in there. Got to get used to working this. Uh, it's kind of strange to try to work. I'm looking at Adrian here trying to tell him it's kind of strange here to work with all these different camera angles and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. See, look, Adrian, I can, even, I can even do this. I can say, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Dr. McBrick. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm having fun with all these buttons. Everyone's saying hi to you, Adrian. Whole bunch of folks saying hi. Hi. Um, hey, Luca, how are you? I didn't see a sneak in the room there. Um, let's see. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah, I'm putting the uh, thing on here. Let's see. Um, I forgot my steps. Oh, here we go. All right, so this goes... Where does this go? Oh, this goes right here. Okay, so look at that. Yeah, this, this is an awesome sub. I'm telling you, I'm loving this sub. Loving it. Um, now, Adrian, of course, was not around when I oh I forgot to put that piece in there that's why oh no wonder yeah see again talking too much Adrian of course was not around was not born when this set was made um, but these what do you think about these sets Adrian I don't know what it is you don't know what it is, is it a submarine yeah it's a submarine oh, cool. it's a submarine it looks this is it right here see there's a sub there's a lab there's all kinds of cool stuff mm -hmm. yeah so, um, this is a weird setup. Yeah, I know. Ad Adrian is still concerned about my weird setup I have here going. Um, I know it is kind of weird, isn't it? I'm trying. I'm trying, though. Trying to get more, you know, more professional as I go. Um, and actually, to be honest with you, the nice thing about the world nowadays and technology, and because I'm kind of a technology geek in that regard, um, it's really not expensive at all as long as you have a phone i mean right now i'm using my phone that's what this camera is um this camera here is my ipad and then i have another ipad where i actually uh have my comments and all that kind of stuff on it so it's actually not too bad at all um let's see here all right um i know it's not as in, as enthralling as is as, as normal so uh Let's see, I think I got everything set up the way it should be now. All right, so now I gotta add this to this. And this goes back one, there we go. And so this is kind of starting to become the main hall of the sub. Um, and uh, you know what, to be quite honest with you, I'm sure Brooke uh, probably put this together a lot better than I'm gonna put it together. Um, <laughs> I, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, but she didn't have the distraction. Now. These, I know, you know, these come in, the, whoa, where we are, there we are. These come in a lot of sets, but I would recommend if you get these that are either 12s or 14s or 16s, that you keep these, especially the 16s, because the nice thing is in your mocks, you can use these large beams um, to, uh, to, to basically hold up an entire roof, especially if it's a 1x16. 
Um, and, uh, you know, they're becoming a little pricey now, but you'll find them in the older sets that you can use a lot. Um, and they, they are actually very, very helpful um, in mock building. Um, and you, you, need, you need at least because they'll hold up, they're hold up floors, hold up roofs, all that sort of thing. All right, we got 17 people on. I know there's probably everybody in the world right now is probably streaming all of the Lego YouTubers. Um, I know uh, several people who are who are my friends who who, who stream on Saturdays, um, and so uh, I'm pretty positive that uh, there's a lot of streams going on right now. So, um, but I'm just excited to show this to you, and I'm just excited to have this because uh, um, I wanted to make sure that uh, I just I just show my appreciation to. Uh, to Ray and, and Juliet and, and Brooke for, for sending this because we couldn't believe it. And I mean, I can't believe it. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's just so cool. It's just, I want to play with it. Adrian, could you please leave the room so I could play with my toys? <laughs> All right, let's see here. What else we got here going? Um, on a time delay here with some of this, so that's why uh, we aren't able to... Uh, um, I'm not able to comment exactly when you send your message. Um, I'm not sure if I like this software for the, that reason, but uh, we'll see. Um, I do like the software because, like I said, I am able to do a bunch Those of different iPads. stuff. Um, this, is, uh, this was Piper's old iPad. Oh. Yeah, this was like her really old iPad. So I'm, I'm repurposing it now. Okay. Repurposing all the old electronics for my studio. All right, let's see. Now, um, did anyone else have, to have this set? Anyone else have this? I mean, I know there's only 16 of us here, but uh, um, this would be cool uh, if, if somebody else happened to have it. I forget what I put on here and what's not on here. Let's see. Okay. I think I'm on step eight. <laughs> not even sure what step I'm on, but <laughs> I think it's step eight. Let's see here. Okay. Um, so, oh, we're going to do the arm. Yeah, let's do the arm. Okay, great. Let me put this back. Let me flip this over here. Uh, yeah, can't flip. There we go. I got to figure out a better way to do that so my arm doesn't get in the camera. Um, so we are now going to do the extension arms. And these extension arms, um, if you can see, will come off of these, these uh, hinge pieces right here. Um, and they'll come off and they'll be like fingers that will extend. And I remember my uh my second oldest emerson who used to like to use those to grab things um and this one is really cool because it has two features on it that we don't see in a lot of um a lot of sets now so let me build these arms and what's funny is in the instructions they don't really show you how to build the arm necessarily they just kind of say okay here's the arms go to it um and so that's what i'm going to do so we will go to it here and um, get back with you in a second. Uh, let's see here. How in the, the world? All right, Adrian has left the building. He got bored. Um, let's see here. So trying to figure out where where the parts are for this. I love the fact that these are all printed and there's no, no I know they're in here somewhere. Oh, oh, I see. I, I totally for, totally didn't see them because they're this uh, this remember this kind of this orange red kind of thing, um, yeah they're this piece. So let's see here. So we have this, and if you look, these are they have teeth, and so you have the two teeth that go into the three teeth, and they meet up, and they form that articulation. Juliet, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very very much. I, I mean, thank you. I, 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 I appreciate it. I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm just me. I'm just me. Um, I love what I do. I love building Lego. Um, I love, um, you know, I, I like making things. My kids and I, we've done this since um, my, my oldest, who is now 29 and has, has one child, my grandson, Sam. Um, and uh, I haven't seen them since December last December because of this pandemic. Um, I remember that, that Brandon and I um, and my second oldest, Emerson, used to, and, and my daughter, but she was a baby, Meg, who's now 22, um, 
we used to play with this set a lot and 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 we used to play with 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 just the the adventurers johnny thunder i um, used to play with rock raiders all the time and stuff like that and so lego has always been a part of my family and if there's anything i can do to bring joy to other families and to other people um through my hobby then uh um then that that makes me feel very good and very um very humble thank you um all right let's get back let's get back to this uh um Let's see. Anthony, you said you're 10 years old? Well, you have you have a lot you have a lot a lot going for you then. You can do a lot of things, a lot of things. Now, one of the things that I that you have to do when you're doing these arms is you want to be able to articulate them and you want to be able to articulate them in different ways, so you have to assemble the 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 um oh these these pieces right here um the forks kind of the the two and the three you have to assemble them in ways that enable you to articulate the arm um in in several different directions uh if not you're just going to have it move all just at the same time you know just, just bend like a finger and not be able to kind of bend over and things like that um so uh, let's see. Hello, Luca. Good to see you again. Adrian is back on. Adrian and Luca have back in the house here, at least online. Um, all right. So let's see. Let's bend these out like this, the way they're supposed to be. I think I need one um, black piece. And this is a... Oh, what? Um, here is something that I'm trying to figure out how it works. Okay. So, let's see here. I'm going to gather up all the arm pieces, and we are going to try to... Oh, I see. I found, I found that extra piece. Um, let me see if I can put that in there. Excuse me while I do a little, little maintenance. Um, let's see. One thing about this this set is that it's uh, and I remember from the old days oh, when that just fell off. <laughs> I just took put one in, one fell off. I remember from the old days the uh, sets, the uh, clutch power on them um, left something to be desired compared to today's clutch power. I don't know if there's actually a scientifically or engineering, you know, wise different today than there was la or back then and there probably might be with the chemical makeup of the plastic I don't know um, for a fact but I do know that I remember that these came apart a little bit easier than their contemporary counterparts um, today uh oh something just happened that camera just went out um, okay you're seeing me here not sure what happened with this camera here um, all right let's see here will I make a Halloween special um, you know, I don't know if we, I don't know if didn't we will. Did we do one last year? Uh, no, we didn't do one last year. We did one we did. two years ago. Didn't we? Or we, yeah, we did. We did one last year too. That's right. We did one last year. We did one two years ago. Two years ago, um, we did a, uh, we did a, um, a giveaway. Uh, and unfortunately the giveaway didn't, didn't, uh, happen as like we had planned, but this year we might do one. We might do one. The stream is like really delayed. Yeah. The stream is delayed. So. I don't know. Can you, um, are, when you're watching it on YouTube, Adrian, I mean, is it fluid? Can you, in other words, can you hear me when my lips are moving or? Well, yeah, but like from real life, because I'm, I'm the only one who can see it. Right, but. right. Yeah, in real life, in real life, it will be delayed because we're going through several different channels. So that's, yeah, that's something that we just kind of have to deal with. But they, no one, if, if you're watching it on YouTube somewhere else, and not here in the room, it won't be delayed at all. At least that's my, that's my, that's what I hope. Because if not, then this software is not any good and I gotta get some different stuff. Um, I'm trying to find all the pieces I need here. The Lego mash, that's right. <laughs> Does it float? Luca, I do, it will not float. 
I mean, look at this. There are whole there are holes in this thing. So if you put it in the water, I think it would sink. Um, but uh, you know, I've often I've often thought about, and I think some YouTubers have done this, some Lego YouTubers. Um, but I've often thought about doing some videos on Lego float, like you know, will it float type of videos with Lego to see if it'll actually work. Um, I'm having a problem here with this one Lego arm piece. Oh, I know what's going on. I'm trying too hard. Okay, I know what's going on. There we go. All right. Oh, Mikey, can I do something? What do you want to do? Can I click that? Well, you, if you click it, yeah, sure, go ahead and click that. Don't forget to follow us on <laughs> Instagram at Dr. McBrick. Actually, you know, Instagram, if you haven't checked out the Instagram page, that's one of, that's where I started. And I'm really, I have tons and tons of pictures on Instagram. So I'm very proud of my, my Instagram presence that I have amassed over the years. Are you clicking stuff, Adrian? No, <laughs> Here, click this one right there. Yeah, there we go. Because we want to make sure we thank them as much as possible. Because they're the ones that are making this happen. Um, okay, put more. What's that? Like that. <laughs> that's the, that, stop clicking. That's not, that was, that, that's, <laughs> that one was, that one was a boring one right there. So, <laughs> Yeah, that one, that one was a generic one that came with the software. Welcome to our show. All right, so let's see what we have here. So we have the first arm, and this is a grabber arm, so you can pinch things in this, um, and that makes it really nice to do. So we will put the grabber arm on here, um, and it uh, goes on here like this. So you can see that uh, you can reach out. Now, if any of you are familiar with bathospheres or submarines that go into deep water, um, they have the arms, the articulated arms that the person in here um, can adjust so that they can grab things and manipulate things without having to go outside because the pressure would kill them. It's so deep in things when they operate. Um, the graveyard mash. Yeah, you know that's a good song. I would I would play it, but unfortunately then we'd get dinged and and that would be a problem with YouTube. So we can't do that. But um, let's see here. What is this last piece? Oh, that's what it is. This now this is something that you no longer can get with Lego. You have to buy it on the aftermarket. The reason being because it, it's it's um, I don't know I don't know if you say it's outlawed. Um, but uh, it's uh, it's not allowed. They they stopped making them because um, of uh, I think it is actually outlawed in the United States. Um, but uh, um, I'll show you here in a second as soon as I get this fixed. Um, but you're not allowed to have them anymore in the in the U.S. I don't believe, or they just stopped doing it because of safety reasons. Um, but it is actually the coveted Lego magnet. Um, and they stopped doing this because, you know, if you look at this, um, this is a this is a magnet, and uh, magnets have various things in them, and um, kids could, uh, you know, could uh, be poisoned, um, and and things. And you know, if you swallow a plastic brick, uh, it might hurt, <laughs> um, and it could cause some damage. But the magnets, uh, you know, for the trains, they used to have magnets on their trains. They used to have magnets and stuff like that. But I don't think they do the magnets anymore um, because of safety issues. And I think I think they may have some. To I think that might be some sort of toy thing where you're not allowed to uh, to have those on original things anymore. I don't know. I could just be thinking that. I don't know. But anyway, so this is great because you're able to grab with your hands. Okay. And you're also able to pick up things that are metallic and metal. And um, we'll show you that in a little bit. All right. So let's get back to looking at uh, some, uh, some comments here. Um, a lot about the uh, monster mash and the graveyard mash. It was a smash. Why Leonard from Big Bang Theory is in the baby coaster? <laughs> Francisco, I, didn't you ask me that before? I, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know why he's in that coaster, um, and I'm not really sure who put him in that coaster. Um, <laughs> hey, nine four one brick guy, it's good to see you. I'm glad. Oh, there you found you found him, Leonard. In the baby coaster. Yep, Leonard was in the baby coaster. All right, Francis, baby legs. Francisco, Leonard was in the baby coaster because, whoops, wait, wait, where we go? Because somebody put baby legs on him. <laughs> They put baby legs on little Leonard. So this is baby Leonard. 
Um, so, yeah, Adrian found him in the coaster, um, in the baby coaster. Well, we'll put him over here. Yeah, we could put Leonard in our sub. We could put Leonard in the, uh, in the sub here and make him be, uh, be the commander of, uh, of our sub. Let's do that here. Let's, all right, so baby Leonard is now going to be the commander of the sub. The actual Lego magnet is giant for security. That's right, yeah. Hey, Brick Talk. Dialect, nice to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate all of you who are here. It is awesome that you're all here. Now comes a point where I have to dig into this little bag, and, and, and Ray was so nice to put these in the little bag for me so I don't have to dump them all out, but I think I am going to have to dump them out because I don't have anywhere. I know what I'll do. We'll pour them in there. Okay, and so right here is something that uh, is uh, really awesome. You don't see many chrome pieces anymore in Lego, uh, and that's one of the things that uh, I used to love about the old Lego sets. Is they had a lot of chrome, a lot of chrome pieces. So what they're doing with this is they're sticking this here, so they're putting a, uh, a fin, a flipper for, uh, for a scuba or a snorkeling. They're putting that. And, um, and then this has to, uh, I guess they're just, what are they doing with this? They're sitting that, this on a clip. So let me find those clips I'm missing out here. I missed a couple of steps. So uh, again, I'm talking too much and missing all these steps. Let's see here. So we have to put, again, here is one of those, you can see I get messed up. Here is another one of those interesting pieces. You know, that, that's a cool piece, and this piece could be used for a lot of cool things. You could make columns, do some side on the, or studs on the side construction, and uh, use some columns, build them up like that. Um, that would be great. Um, but here, they are used as jets, basically, um, to put on to, oh, we got to put on the, wow. Okay, I got to figure out what goes there. Let me uh, flip back around here. All right, Kyle, helping with a wedding. Well, congratulations to whomever the, uh, the bride and the groom are. Um, and uh, I appreciate you stopping by, Kyle. I appreciate you uh, coming on and uh, checking us out. Um, and thanks for all your support, man. All right, let's see here. I did miss a few pieces, um, so I need to put on a couple of pieces here. So if you'll pardon me, I will go back and add a few pieces on here that I forgot um, because I was yapping too much. So we got to put this here behind uh, Baby Leonard. And uh, now Baby Leonard did not come with a set for any of those of you who are joining us. Um, but we just, <laughs> we just, Francisco just did not like him being on the, uh, on the baby coaster. So we had to remove Baby Leonard from the roller coaster so that we could uh, um, get him uh, some, some help here. Uh, let's see. So we got this on here like this. Uh, no, like this. Okay. So that goes on there, and let's see. Adrian, you set your phone down there right next to my other stuff, and it's like, it's crazy now. I got like eight screens going on here. I don't know which screen to look at me. Um, let's see here. All right, so we got this here, and then the clips. That's what I needed. I needed these clips because I had to figure out where to put this chrome piece in this flipper, and um, it goes on these clips. So that's where it goes. Okay, so uh, um, Adrian just commented that we have a lot of Mario stuff. We do because we are going to build a miniature golf course out of the Mario sets. And then that way um, we will be able to, uh, to have all the Mario sets in Six Figs. And it will be kind of like a, a kid world. So these flippers, interestingly enough, go on spears, chrome spears. Those chrome spears go on here. And I guess that is for when the person gets out of, well, we're, it's hard to do this. There we go. When the person gets out of the sub, they can fly around or, or swim around and grab flippers if they need to. Um, they'll have to kind of go all the way around the sub, though, to get both of them. I don't know why they didn't put them both on the same side. But it does look kind of cool with those flippers in that uh, orientation like that. So, All right, let's see. Um, will you build Star Wars model? You know, I do have a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's a, Franc Francisco Baby Leonard's quantum mechanics. Yes, it, physics in the submarine. You are exactly right, my friend. Um, will I build Star Wars sets? I have about, oh, I don't know, 
16, 17 tw Star Wars sets, maybe even 20, if you count Moss Eisley and the, um, the, the Ewok Village. Um, and yes, I will build Star Wars sets. What I've done with Star Wars, um, with the exception of Moss Eisley and the, uh, the Ewok Village, is um, I've bought them. I bought ships. I just bought, I just bought ships. And I, I bought the ships that I like. Um, not necessarily the most popular ones um, and there are some that are really kind of obscure and there are from some some other uh, type of uh, I mean you know some other series of, sh of uh, um, our Lego Star Wars or something like that um, let's see how this go how does this go on this is interesting Oh, I see how this goes on. Okay. Um, and so I bought, you know, but I bought like the Millennium Falcon. I have um, a couple X-Wings, uh, a couple of uh, different ships that are from different various series like, um, you know, Clone Wars, things like that. A-Wings and uh, U-Wing. Uh, I don't know, an A, B, C, D, E, F, G wing. I mean, I've got pretty much all the wings. Um, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a um, TIE fighter, however. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'll build those and I'm going to display those on my shelf. Um, just because I do like Star Wars. Um, I went to Star Wars in 1977 as an 11-year-old boy and I went 14 times. And one day, I, actually even one day, um, I went three times in a row. And back then in 1977 when Star Wars came out, if any of you are old enough um, to know this or to have been there, um, you had to watch the movie, which was like a major production, right? I don't know how many hours it was. It was two hours, something like that. And, uh, and then you had to go, you had to stand in line for several hours just to see the movie. Then you had to go stand in line. After the movie, I went out and stood in line for another few hours, went into the movie for another couple hours, watched the movie. Then went back outside, stood in line again, went back in, watched the movie, and just kept doing that, me and my buddies. My mom literally dropped us off. This was back in the day when you literally could drop off a, a kid to a movie theater and it would be safe. Um, you know, my mom would drop us off at the movie theater and uh, me and my friends, we would just, we would go to Star Wars and we would just stay and we'd just keep going back and forth in line. And we did that all the time. Um, and I saw it 14 times in 1977. So I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. Um, but, you know, I went down the Star Wars Lego rabbit hole a few years ago um, and started buying a bunch of ships uh, just for display purposes. Um, and uh, I will get into building some um, and definitely will build those for um, Moss Eisley. And that Moss Eisley set just makes me froth at the mouth. Almost as much as this one when I see just the goodness of it coming together here. I mean, just look at that. Look, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> if I could, yeah, you gotta be careful with the clutch power on this because nowadays you could squeeze things together and it pretty much goes tight. On this, this one, you gotta be careful because it could all pop up. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I could get back to uh, um, showing the, yeah, you know, I agree with you, Ray. I, I think you really should um, buy what you like. And Jeff, I, I totally agree with that. Um, you, you have to, uh, um, you know, Lego is about is about what you like, right? I mean, and, and it's what it, it's. And so, whether you're a kid, whether you're an A fall, a T fall, or whatever, um, buy what you like. Don't worry about opening it. Play with, open it, build it and play the heck out of it, you know, or Im admire the heck out of it, um, you know, on a shelf as a display piece, or just enjoy the build process. You know, even, I mean, I know one thing as an adult that I didn't, I mean, that I liked as a kid. Boy, this thing is, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's why I didn't have that connected. Okay, now it's a lot sturdier. There we go. All right, now we're good. But one thing as an adult, one thing I really like is, is the techniques and learning all of the different building techniques. And the Lego designers do that on purpose. And they make that's why they make the instructions the way they do. That's why they make certain things that would be easier to build one way. They make them, they build them maybe a little bit differently because as you're building these, you're not only getting this really awesome set with Baby Leonard, um, <laughs> um, but uh, you're actually getting a, uh, um, a, a, an experience in engineering and an experience in math and spatial relationships and things like that. Um, and that's what, that's what, you know, it's, it's almost sneaky in some ways, you know, I mean, as a, as a, as a professor, as somebody who's an educator, um, and somebody who has had five kids, you know, it's like, it's almost sneaky how much you actually learn about, about engineering and math and, and spatial and aesthetics and all that kind of stuff, just geometry, just by building Lego. Um, it, it, you learn so much and you don't even realize you're doing it.
You've done X-Wing Fighter a few days ago. Which one did you do? Which one did you do? Mason. I like Masonary Bricks. That's a good one. And thank you very much, Ray. Thank you. Oh, I know. You're talking about the other people's channels. Yeah, channels. You all need to start your channels. That's going to be awesome. Please start with, you know, I, I, the LEGO community is, is one that really needs to, uh, um, to, to, you know, expand. There are some really great LEGO YouTubers. Um, and uh, um, I admire, you know, all of the, 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 I admire anyone who starts a LEGO YouTube channel. Um, whether you have two, one and a half million subscribers like, uh, like, like Sir Jang, or if you have, you know, 10 subscribers. And um, I subscribe to a couple of people who have like 20 subscribers, you know, um, but they're, they're building and they're, you know, they're, they're having fun. They're having fun. And that's, that's the only reason I got on YouTube. It wasn't because my kids love YouTube and watch it constantly, which they do. Um, but it, it was because I got on it because I just wanted to see if there's anyone else out there who would be interested in the stuff that I liked and that I built. And, you know, and um, I wasn't in it for praise, wasn't in it for anything like that. But I was in it to see um, or to see if there were other folks out there like me who wanted to uh, to share in, in the same experiences that I was going through. And, and wow, I found a whole bunch. Brick Bakery. Yes, I do like Brick Bakery. Brick, Brick, Brick. <laughs> Say that 20 times fast. Brick Bakery. He's a gentleman by the name of Jacob, and he is absolutely a wonderful human being, a really nice guy, and he has a great channel. Um, he's actually a member of the BrickTubers Network, which I'm a member of. He's a founding member like myself. There are several channels. Um, we started out with seven channels. Um, several uh, channels, unfortunately, have gone by the wayside um, because uh, the 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 creators of those channels had other stuff to do um and uh you know and and of course this pandemic has uh, has been bad for uh for everyone um uh, one of the creators was a healthcare person and so you know she just got too busy i'm sure um and uh but anyway but myself um brick bakery jacob um Brixenville is another great great channel you should watch um he lights up his city like no other city i've ever seen um in terms of um let's see where am i which way am I going here? I'm getting a little confused. Oh, finally, I can use these pieces. Um, he, he, his whole city is lit up like crazy. Um, unbelievable gentleman in terms of lighting his city. And he, does, he doesn't do it with kits. He does it just with his, you know, his ingenuity. Um, and it is really awesome. Uh, really awesome. I, I, he's part of the, the BrickTubers network. Um, Greg, uh, GJ Bricks has an amazing channel uh, in terms of trains, in terms of all kinds of stuff. He has actually become a very, very good friend of mine. Um, and uh, uh, he's down in Australia. Uh, and uh, he's sleeping right now or else I'm sure he'd be here. Um, but I would recommend his channel as well. He's part of the BrickTubers Network. And then Kaz Mocket, Blockhead UK, is another channel. Um, and Kaz is actually um, so fancy that she uh, has her micro builds on display at the Lego house. Um, and uh, she has a great channel and she's really, really a creative uh, person and just a swell human being. Um, and uh, um, I would recommend you checking out her channel as well. So I um, didn't mean to go into commercials there, but uh, um, you know, we, there's some great channels out there. Um, thank you very much, Dalek. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it for your subscribing. Uh, Mason, why does he say that the videos are for adults? That's a real um, good question. The reason why is because um, I don't know if you had followed over the past year, but there was a lawsuit against YouTube and, and uh, the FTC, I believe, came down on YouTube and basically said that um, that uh, YouTube was uh, was 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 uh, selling uh, um, s selling ads to kids and um, that's illegal. Uh, you're not allowed. You're you know it's okay to sell sell ads to adults, um, but you can't sell ads to kids. And so um, the COPPA Act, I believe it was in 2001 or something like that. Um, it's really old law, but it's a good law because it protects children from being uh, um, you know from being harassed by by folks trying to sell them stuff. Um, but there were there are channels out there where kids where kids you know I mean there were four and five year old kids that were hawking merchandise. Um, and that's all they did. 
and that's all they would do and 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 they would basically just you know just kind of say hey you know buy this and buy this and here's a toy and buy this and do this and look here's another toy and stuff like that and it just it 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 it, it just didn't it just wasn't allowed and so because of that Kappa um, and I mean the FTC used Kappa and basically told YouTube you have to decide every single video on your system which is like 700 million or something um, has to decide whether or not it's made for kids and so like my video here whenever I start a video I have to hit the button that says it's either made for kids or it's not made for kids um, and so um, you know my channel just like their channel um, is uh, um, is uh, is basically there um, you know for for adults I mean we're adults you know 98% of my traffic is uh, 13 and above um, according to my you know statistics and stuff and so um, even though folks you know who who, who watch it you know are, can be younger and stuff um, but it's primarily um, an adult channel so you'll, you'll find a lot of people who will have that disclaimer on their channels that it's for a falls um, but you know um, it's just one of those things and that that's 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 happened I mean that that that's been litigated and talked about and all that kind of stuff in many many YouTube videos so I won't go go much more into that but um, but yeah that's why it's there all right let's see here I'm talking too much need to need to uh, see let's see I want to go to Denmark factory and see it yeah you know my I was actually hope hoping to get to Denmark um, this fall and uh, we had talked about it Greg myself um, in, in Australia a few people had talked about you know we were supposed to actually we were supposed to be in London this year we were taking a vacation the family and we were going to fly to London we were going to hang out there for a while then we were going to take a take a take a cruise ship um, up to uh, Norway and uh, France and uh, just enjoy that and then come back to London and hang out we had tickets for for uh, to see uh, a play in London and hang out there um, uh, we 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 could have come and seen Ray and Juliet for that matter <laughs> but um, but unfortunately uh, this pandemic has just really really wreaked havoc on our world so hopefully this time next year um, people will be able to travel a lot more um, all right let's see um, Got to figure out what this means here in this instruction manual. It's coming along. Look at these prints. These are really cool. Again, no stickers. You don't see stickers in the 90s sets, really. Not many. Um, these are really quality prints. I don't know if you can see, because this is, this is only 720, I think. Um, but uh, these are really, really quality prints. Um, and, you know, this is, this is a great set. I'll tell you what, I'm very humbled, Ray, because uh, this set, I mean, there's like, there's no dirt. There's nothing on this set. It is absolutely spectacular. Um, this is kind of, you know, even though I know it wasn't in the box, um, this is pretty mint. Uh, let's see here. All right. So we'll bring this up here. Um, we got 27 people on here. Hi to everybody. How you doing? It's good to see everybody that's here. Um, thanks for stopping by. I know that a few people are chatting, a few people aren't chatting or just watching and stuff like that. Um, but if you're here, we uh, really appreciate you showing up. Um, and uh, I'm testing out a whole new system here. Um, thank you, Luca. I'm testing out a whole new system on uh, on my our new studio system here in terms of things I can do. So I can add stuff like this. Uh, join me on Patreon at Dr. McBrick. Um, or I could take that off and I could add things like, don't forget to check out my Instagram page. Um, so I'm enjoying that kind of stuff. Um, follow me on Facebook at Dr. McBrick as well. Um, so it's kind of cool that uh, uh, there's a lot of different things I can do with the studio. I can switch cameras. Um, I can go from myself uh, to, uh, to someone else, except for the problem is right now the camera is right where I need to hit the button. So I need to put my buttons farther down um, so that uh, when I switch, it makes it, uh, makes it a lot better. Um, so anyway, let's see. Yeah, you know, um, uh, it's it's one of these things to where uh, I'm trying to get this set, and I don't think ah, I put it on the wrong way. That's why. Okay, that's. Yeah, you know, hunger, uh, hunger for Lego. I appreciate. I mean, I I do the same thing. I I put on YouTubers' videos in the background when I'm doing stuff, 
and it just it's 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 just kind of fun you listen and you know and you tune in once in a while when you when you see something you like or you hear something you like that sort of thing so um i appreciate y'all being here and i appreciate y'all hanging out um am i missing something there seems to be something i'm missing here because uh i it's supposed to be a roof but i'm not sure what's happening let's see huh those are supposed to go together oh okay there we go whoa all right these kind of <laughs> i can't all right let's let's try this again here let's try this okay well okay there we go all right so there is our sub at the moment i still have to put on a couple of things here um, put on the finishing touches six figs needs let's see Twenty likes and almost thirty viewers. I know that's great. Now, see, that's one thing I do not like about this software is I cannot see at the moment. I cannot see the. And let me try it this way. I can't see how many likes are going on um, in this. Uh, I, for some reason, the software won't let me do it, um, and it won't let me see, especially if somebody um, uh, does a super chat or a donation online or something like that. I don't see that. And so I'm not, I don't like that part about this uh, software. So I got to figure that out because uh, that we can't, keep, we can't have that. We can't have that. We got to uh, be able to, to know when that stuff happens. Um, all right. So we have this last canopy piece. And again, these canopy pieces are really, really awesome. Um, let's see here. Let's put this on. If I can figure it out. And this goes, that's not going to work. Always, it's always fun figuring out exactly when you get these hinge pieces, where exactly these hinge pieces go. Um, let's see here. All right, we will put this here, and then this will have to come down. So we'll stick that on there. <laughs> and we're watching, we're watching Mike just really not know what he's doing here. Now, remember how I said everything is all about math? Well, the one problem about math is that sometimes it doesn't, it, 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 it tricks you. It tricks you. And see how this is tricking me? See that's supposed to go down? It's got to go the opposite way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe what's happening here. All right, let's see here. Let's see. 25 likes, 23 likes. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mason. I appreciate you keeping me keeping me uh, abreast of what's going on there with the likes. Um, so anyway, so so what is your what all you all out there? Um, what is your favorite your favorite Lego set now? Current, current that's just come out. Um, because I'd be interested to know. Um, is it the Moss Eisley set? Is it the set um, from, I'm having problems here. I'm, I must be, uh, why am I having so many problems with this? Do I have the wrong piece? I have the wrong piece. I used the wrong piece. No wonder. Again, this is what, yep, I used the wrong piece. This is what happens when I babble too much. Um, okay, so this piece goes here. <laughs> have you ever done that with lego where you where you start out and you just i mean you swear that you have it the right way and you're like man this is a weird model lego really screwed this one up and you just swear to goodness that you did it the right way and lego made the, made the mistake right yep i've done that many times i'm doing it now but uh, i realized that nope again it is not a lego mistake it is a dr mcbrick error so, Diagon Alley. Yes, Diagon Alley is... Good to see you back, Francisco. 
Um, um, that's Diagon Alley is a great set. I have it sitting behind me. I plan on, and again, see? Now, like, why is this not... Am I just missing something here? Um, Diagon Alley is a great set. I have it. I plan on putting it behind Figsdale. Um, it's going to go back by my space center, and I actually have an alleyway planned for it. Um, and uh, it's going to uh, to be um, all right. Here we go. All right, we're we're going to have to we're going to have to make this happen. Got to make this happen. Um, am I? Oh, you know what? Did I do something wrong? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of magic here. It'll work. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Again, the clutch power. All right. Well, I can see why it took Brooke five hours to build this thing. It's it's a little crankety here. And the, uh, there we go. Look at this. Here we are. This is the sub. And Zabadok, to answer your questions, my friend, no, if you look at these pieces here, you, I mean, now, you know, you see the normal, the normal kind of, uh, um, swirling and stuff like that. But when you look at them, um, they are not scratched. I mean, they are in really, unless you put the light directly on them, they are in really, really good shape. And you can see baby Leonard in there. <laughs> I can't believe we're using baby Leonard. You can see baby Leonard in there and he looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, look at that. I mean, look how clear those things are. You can really see through that. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of it looks as well. So uh, this is the sub from this Neptune Discovery Center set. It has a magnet right there so you can grab things that are metallic. And it also has pinchers here so you can open them up and you can pinch stuff with those. These articulate. They don't go very far, um, but they're enough. Excuse me. They're enough to, uh, to, look, to make it look really good. We forgot to put the engine on, the propeller back here. Let's do that. Um, let's see if we can we can get this because without this um, we're kind of dead in the water, <laughs> so to speak. Um, we were not really get very far, but you see this propeller piece that goes in this cowling right here, and uh, that propeller piece, of course, can uh, go around. You can blow on it, and it uh, everything works. So and that just goes right up here. And so there we go. And so now we have one more piece that is extremely important. And it's actually one of these pieces that I love from Lego that you don't see anymore. It's the compass piece. And it literally is a little compass. It literally is a little compass. Isn't that cool? Hey, Lego's owner. Yeah, you're right, Zabadok. That glass looks really, really awesome. All right, so we got the first piece of this set um, taken care of, and it's only been an hour. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And we still have a lot more to go. Um, if I can uh, take a drink here for a second and uh, get you uh, um, <laughs> get something to drink right here. And we'll come back all refreshed uh, and uh, go from there. So anyway, so that is the sub. That is the sub. Really cool, really awesome. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Juliet. Brooke, thanks for thanks for your pre-builds. Thanks for watching everything. Um, this is really cool. So you open it up, and when you open it up here, what you do have is you have quite a bit of room. And so the great thing is that you can store things. So Leonard could store all of his physics experiments in here, right? Um, or, you know, this is the part where they get, you know, the, the, the aquanauts get ready and stuff like that. The other thing is, too, that this comes up. So look at all that storage that you have in there. So say you have some fins or you have something like that. You can, you can store them down in here. Down, whoops. Whoa, there we go. Down in there. That sort of thing. So this actually is really, really nice because it comes open so much. Um, and then you can just close it 
these close in on themselves to kind of give you a little and i really like this the way they've done this um whoa i guess i gotta close yep gotta close this prior to closing this but i like the way they've done that so that when you do close them um, and you get them just right uh the nice thing is that they give you it gives a nice indentation there um just like you know you would on a real sub uh, because you'd want to have some of that aerodynamic stuff going on right okay now what's going on here something is something is up here is this is this by the camera here what's going on there's like a line um shadow or something going on here I'm not sure where that's what's happening huh okay move this over here don't know what's happening don't know what's going on with that line not sure why that's there um, again the software is brand new trying to figure this out um, so uh, so we'll see let's see if I can get it a little bit better I think maybe hold on one second huh interesting oh I know what's happened there we go okay all right sorry about that uh, you guys are my test pilots here I appreciate you uh, staying with me we're down to 20 um, I know it's because I'm boring people to death um, so anyway more room than the 2020 sets yes it does definitely have more room these sets do have a lot more room than normal all right we are going to now build and this is this is going to be interesting because i'm going to have to build on both of these um base plates so my camera is going to uh to be interesting here let's see what we can do i'm going to have to move some stuff out of the way let's uh let's see let's just oh look we can keep him right there let's move some stuff I got the big box coming over here. Got the big box of stuff here for the big uh, thing. Let's. We are going to have to move these guys out of the way. Um, let's see here. You know, I think that's a good idea, Francisco, about haunting the city. Um, and uh, I know Piper likes to do that kind of stuff. We are going to have some serious issues here, folks, because uh, I cannot fit both of these base plates on here but i have to um so i have to keep them like this so let me jockey some stuff around let me know if you can still hear me because i'm moving my mic farther away i don't have my lapel mic on um and so unfortunately you know what i wonder if i can move let me try this here um let's try this can i go nope that's not working that's showing you a picture of that's showing you a picture of the ceiling um i'll tell you what i could probably get this out a little farther if i tried but i'm not going to try we're just going to keep going on here and i'll try to just point to the right spot where i'm at in the build um so all right so these base plates again just unbelievable um <laughs> The city main square, Francisco. That's a good, that's a good, uh, um, a good question, and uh, and congrats to you for uh, uh, Bretsky for finishing the cantina. Um, I cannot wait to do the cantina. That is something that I'm I'm excited for. I was excited to do this, and I'm like, I got I want to do this. I got to get this done, and then I'm going to do the cantina. It, then I got our uh, Diagon Alley. I just feel like it's like I'm the luckiest Lego person in the world. Now, of course, I am kind of trapped in my house because of health concerns. I can't really go anywhere, so um, I feel very blessed that uh, you know that, that 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 Ray and Juliet and Brooke sent me this. Um, I also uh, feel very fortunate to be able to uh, have those two great sets as well. In terms of the main city main square, Francisco, I'll tell you what, if you've seen Jang builds, um, or Jang uh, on his uh, uh, review of that set, um, one of the things that he mentions is that uh, um, there's a lot of controversy around that set, you know, because it's just a bunch of stuff. Um, but he uh, relates it to the Lego show that's going on. There's a, a Lego cartoon right now um, that has those characters in it. And uh, he also... Uh, reminds folks that um, that set is a six plus set which means that that set is for little kids 
And uh, that's one of the things that, you know, a lot of us as adults, um, you know, we're like, hey, what is this? You know, this is just this is just a bunch of crap. You know, it's a bunch of pieces. We don't really, you know, it was supposed to, it looks like it's a monorail, but it's not and all that kind of stuff. It's for six year olds. And so the builds are really simple and the stuff is really simple. And he makes a really good point. And I saw that um, yesterday. I watched that video of his. And uh, I got to say that, you know, after seeing that video, I thought, you know, that's a great point. Um, that it is a six plus set. It's not an adult set. Um, so I do like that little shuttle bus that they have. I think that's really a cool build. There's a couple of other cool builds in it. But there's no way I would pay $200 for it. Even if for my kids. Even if my kids. I don't know if I'd pay $200. I would not. Well, I wouldn't pay $200 for that set just for my kids as well. I agree, DZ, it's absolutely um, too, too expensive. Um, so uh, let's go back to uh, this. All right, now I gotta get my box of parts and I am doing a major, <laughs> I'm doing some major juggling here. I got, I got the uh, manual propped up here. I got the parts on my lap and uh, we're gonna see if we can get this done. All right, so what do we need here? Don't you love that sound? Maybe, maybe not. I do. It's absolutely wonderful. Hey, wait a minute. Am I in the wrong box? Nope, I think this is the right box. Okay, this is the part that uh, looks to be going to take a while here because for one I have all these pieces and I don't have them I don't have any way of getting them out now here is an interesting piece let's bring it bring it over here um, so you can kind of see the contrast but I like these pieces these are Technic pieces of course with the slope um, they have the three Technic holes in them um, and uh, they uh, you see these are really good because they're offset by one plate each on each side. So I really like that. Um, so it calls for two of these. And I have to go hunting for these pieces. So pardon me. Yeah, Lego City is... And you know, Francisco, one of the things I think about Lego City is they have some really cool things. But um, the reason it's overpriced, I believe, is because that's what kids love, right? Kids love policemen and firemen, and, and they love you know helicopters and cars and tow trucks and dumpsters and all kinds of stuff like that. And so, yeah, sure, they're going to uh, price those in a way that uh, you know they know they can make some money. Um, just like the 18 plus sets, I mean, those 18 plus sets are, you know, it's like how many, how many 350 to 400 dollar sets has Lego come out with in the past during over the summer? I think like four, five of them, um, and they're coming out with more, right? And so it's just like, you know, geez, every set we look at, it's 350 bucks, 350 bucks, 400 bucks, 325 bucks, 330 dollars, and so. Um, it's, you know, I mean, you know, as, as, a, as a person who used to own a company, it makes good business sense because a lot of people want to buy the stuff and there's supply and demand. And so if people are going to demand it, you sell it, you sell it for the price you can demand it for. Um, but from, a, from a, a kid standpoint, there's no way, you know, kids are going to be able to buy four or five $350 sets, right? Um, and so, you know, that's tough. For us, it's a little bit different. Um, for those of us who are fortunate, um, but uh, still, even you know, even there are some things that you know, um, it's it's tough. It's really tough. Yeah, you know, that's that's a good point, Ray. That's that's a good point. Um, that they, they they can't print. It it seems like. It, it, yeah, to me, it's it it it, it, se it seems like um, you know it it it, se it seems to me that printing printing you know pad printing whatever kind of printing they do on their bricks um, 
shouldn't make the cost of a set go up by that much. And so I don't know why they're kind of nickel and diming it, you know, in, in a sense. Um, or, 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 you know, um, at least, in, you know, in U.S. dollars um, or pence or whatever. You, I don't know, what, you know, whatever your, your currency is in, in whatever country, you, you know, everyone who's watching this video is from. But they're, they're, they're really just taking, you know, taking it to the nth degree when, when it doesn't seem like it should add that much to, to the, the process. Maybe it does. I don't know. You know, if it adds an extra twenty dollars to a set, then yeah, then that's a problem. But if it doesn't, um, if it adds a dollar or two, why not print? All right, as you see, I am still not finding the parts here, and I know the parts are in here, but there was one problem here. I'm having a lighting issue, um, and so I'm trying to find the parts that I need. And so let me pull up a light, and this might cause some issues here with the. Ah, there we go. Okay, now, so, thanks for, I'll tell you what, for the 20 folks who are hanging out here, I really appreciate it, um, you know, I, I appreciate it very much, um, appreciate all your support, and, uh, you know, and hope that, uh, um, that you continue to support me on Facebook. Uh, continue to support me on uh, Instagram. Um, I do really, really love my Instagram channel and all the people on Instagram. Um, and I'm also available on Patreon as well. I know uh, Ray's a, a great Patreon supporter, and I appreciate that as well. Um, and uh, available all across the socials, really, at Dr. McBrick on anything, on Twitter, on Flickr, um, even on Pinterest, although I don't have a Pinterest board right now, so if you looked at it, there wouldn't be anything on there. Um, but uh, um, I guess I'm building this right now for those of you that are, I'm kind of doing it off camera. Um, but, uh, and avail I have a Discord server, but I haven't really done much with the Discord server. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to have a family and it's hard to have a job and, uh, and, and keep up with everything. Um, and so I have to kind of focus, I focus on Facebook. Um, I focus on, uh, uh, Instagram primarily. Um, and then I focus on, uh, Patreon. Um, and so those are really my, my three areas. Plus, I mean, obviously YouTube, um, my areas of, uh, of focus. And I have to do that in order to, uh, um, to stay sane and to not have um, my family kill me because I'm not around. So, all right, so let's see here. So we have this and I still need one more brick. Aha, where is it? There it is. All right, so we have this. Hello, Liam, how are you? Shannon, it's good to see you. Yeah, don't you love these base plates? I mean, Sharon, I'm sorry, Sharon. Um, these base plates are really, they are, to use my kids' expression, they are the bomb. They are, they are it. They are whatever. Um, um, these are awesome base plates. Um, and so now I'm hooking them together, and I'm going to try to find uh, the parts in here that I need. Um, some of these are, uh, Lego certainly got their use out of this base plate. Um, for all the different sets that they used in these base plates, or with these base plates, uh, they really did get their use out of them. Viking, good to see you there. Uh, let's see. I, Steven says, I don't hate stickers, but I feel that the cost that would really be cool, Ray, if they printed everything, although some of the prints have been subpar lately. Yes, some of the prints have been subpar lately, especially some of the torso prints. So this is connecting. We're connecting the base plates now. Um, so we have to we have to uh, get the right ones on there. You know what? I'm tired. I, I guess you guys don't want to hear this noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. Be careful. Here they come. I'm pouring out all the parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, I've poured out all the parts for the base plate connection and the lab that goes in it. Um, and so now I should be able to see them better. All right, let's see here. Who else is uh, on here? I apologize, I have to 
to take a drink and wet my whistle once in a while. It gets kind of uh, tough when uh, when you're looking at all these. Look at all these great pieces. Look at all these great pieces. I mean, do we see these anymore? Not really. Um, you know, I like these because, I mean, well, one, look at that. I mean, that, that is one huge arch. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just love this. I just love, love the pieces that they make um, for this set. And that was one of the reasons why I like this set so much. Um, so, all right. So we are going to uh, um, come back here, and we are going to see if I can find this one piece that I need to set over... Oh no, oh no, I've put it on the wrong way. We have put it on the wrong way, people. How? <laughs> Here. Okay, so what we have to do is, oops, sorry about that. Um, we, how? All right, if you'll excuse me, we, we need to get this correct. There we go. Okay, now, now we're doing it. Okay, now I have it right. So this piece, this makes sense now. This piece goes in here. Okay, all right. Mason, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, please be safe. Um, take care of yourself, and I'm looking forward to Masonary Bricks in 2021. And thanks for all of your support. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thanks for everybody who's shown up here. Really appreciate it. Um, I know uh, um, Liam, uh, you had to go. Uh, see you later. Um, thank you very much, my friend. Um, let's see. We're trying to uh, trying to piece. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah. Okay. You can kind of. You can't really see much of what I'm doing at the moment. Um, because uh, these base plates require a lot of um, a lot of space, and uh, because my space is limited here on my desk, um, I don't have the ability to show you everything that I'm that I am doing. Um, but uh, we're just going to keep going. We'll keep going. I'll try to get this done. If I don't get it all finished before my deadline here, um, I will. Uh, I will definitely finish it, and then I will uh, um, I will post the rest up on my Patreon um, and uh, post pictures on my Instagram um, for for those to see. And I'll post the the rest of the video for Ray up on the Patreon so uh, you can see it as well. And then a bunch of pictures on Instagram um, so uh, so folks can see it as well if they if they're not a member of Patreon because I don't want to I don't want to penalize anybody because that's just that's just an extra thing. All right, let's see here. All right, we're up to 22 people. Well, I'll tell you, something just happened behind me. I think a cat just knocked something over. Um, not sure what that's about. But, uh, okay, let's see here. Um, wow. Really, wow. Here's what we're up against. Here's what the manual looks like, all right? So this is it. And for those of you that have just tuned in, this is all I get. Um, I get uh, to look at this and I have to figure out how to put all these pieces together. So what's fun is this normally would be difficult, <laughs> but trying to uh, do it on our live and uh, talk and answer comments and all that kind of stuff. Hi, Crystal Bricks. Um, and all that kind of stuff is even more difficult because it's like I got to figure out what pieces go where, how they go and all that sort of thing. So bear with me as I start to put some of these pieces on and uh we will uh we'll keep building well crystal bricks it's good to see you um oh before the brick films nice to see you welcome welcome um i appreciate everyone being here and appreciate everyone uh, stopping by and for those of you that are hanging out and watching uh this set was um was given to me uh by uh three amazing people um, by Ray, Juliet, and Brooke. Uh, they gave me this set. They sent this set all the way from England um, to me here in the United States. 
uh, because at one point I had made the comment that I had to sell this set um, when I was a kid, or not when I was a kid, when I was a grown up, when I was an adult, because I had to sell it because I had to pay some bills. Um, and, uh, and, and that was back, you know, back when and all that kind of stuff. And um, Ray and Juliet were so nice to be able to just, you know, to say, you know what, um, we're going to send this to you. And, and I, I'm just very thankful. I'm very, th very grateful for having them as part of um, our Dr. McBrick family and as, as friends. Um, maybe, you know, and I, I'm serious at some point, we are, we are coming to England to vacation as a family. Maybe at some point we can sit down and, uh, and, uh, and say, you know, uh, have a, uh, have a drink, um, and, and say hello to one another. Um, I think that would be really, really awesome. Um, all right, let's see here. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what parts I need from this, uh, this manual. Um, I think I'm doing all right though. I think I'm getting the right pieces. It's just a matter of finding all of the pieces here. Um, you know, I when Lego moved from the 90s and moved into the 2000s and started doing manuals where they actually were able to, uh, hey, BVN Ruben, Slicks, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, when, when Lego moved to making these manuals um, with the parts or with the pieces on the parts themselves I'm not sure how this is gonna go in here this is odd um, I was very happy <laughs> because doing it this way you know well two things doing it this way it's a challenge and challenges are fun um, but the way in which they do it now you know where you can lay out your pieces you know what pieces you need for each step things like that um, that to me uh, uh, so to me is better um, because here's what I have okay I'm gonna show this to you here and we're gonna get it the right way but here's what I have and you see this here how it shows two pieces well I have these two pieces here that looks good but this piece down here this black piece I don't know if that's a one by a two by or if it's a L Okay, and I think it might be an L because when I lift this piece up, this goes, whoops, when I lift this piece up, this goes right in here. And so I'm thinking that it is an L, and so I'm going to go with that. Um, and uh, hopefully I'm right. If I'm not right, then uh, oh well. Um, we'll see how that goes. All right, I gotta move. Let me move the camera here. You see, I, I got this new. Like I said, I got a new studio. I got a new rig here. Everything is all all set there. There we go. So um, you know, I'm I'm trying trying my best to uh, to get everything set up. I got I got a light here now. You can see I got a light to shine down on my uh, um, on my my stuff because I couldn't see it very well. So that's kind of in the picture. So I apologize for that. I got to get everything set up so it actually, um, whoa, hey, there we go. <laughs> I got to get everything set up so that we can actually, you know, I can have a bigger build table and all that kind of stuff. And I don't have to press the button like this and put my hand in front of the camera. So, Ray, great. We will go out for a meal. That sounds good. That sounds good. We will break bread at some point once this plague is over in our world and, and we are at a better spot. And, uh, um, that that is is wonderful. Um, hey, Vagard, how are you? Nice to see you. Hello, how are you doing today? You say how is the COVID nineteen pandemic in the U S? Um, we are uh, we're not doing so well here in the U S in terms of uh, the pandemic. Uh, um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's out of hand in a lot of ways. Um, and uh, you know our 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 medical folks are are doing their best. Excuse me, um, and uh, they're working hard. Fortunately, they're able to save many more lives um, than uh, um, than a lot of places around the world. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 scary, and it's scary for somebody like me because I only have one lung. So you know, I I do not want to get this. If I get this, that probably means the end of me. Um, and so it's very scary. Um, and so I stay here in my house most of the time, um, and did have to go out to the doctor this week to get a flu shot, a regular flu shot, um, and. Uh, um, have to go to the dentist and a few things like that. Um, but other than that, 
that's it. You know, don't go to stores, don't go out, don't do things like that. Um, uh, so uh, anyway, I you know I just hope that things get better. I know that the United States is not unique. Uh, the rest of the world is suffering as well, and there's many other parts of the world that are suffering worse than we are. Um, I'm very blessed and very lucky to be able to work from home and to have a job and to have a nice house um, and to be able to deal with this pandemic kind of virtually um, and try to stay away from it as much as possible. But I know people can't um, in the majority of the world. So um, I just I just pray and hope that someday soon uh, the vaccine will uh, come out and uh, we'll be able to uh, make this thing history. So, um, yeah. I got to do something with that button. It's driving me crazy. I have to press over the camera every day or all the time. All right, let's see here. Let's get on. Um, Lego in the 90s. Here you go. A one image set. Now build it. Yes, that's exactly right. Before the brick films. Exactly right. Hey, Cooper. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, I'm st I got a new production rig, our production rig here, um, and uh, I'm just trying to trying to figure all this out as I go. Um, and uh, normally, I just turn on the YouTube uh, live stream thing and just go with it. But I'm trying to get a little fancier here, and I'm learning a lot as I go as well. Okay, so now that I have this, what the instructions call for is to turn the base plate around and to start to do. Now that I have everything, let's see if I can move this this way. Okay, now ah, there we go. Now what we're going to do is start to build some of the uh, the walls. All right, let's see <laughs> if I if I uh. All right. One thing about these base plates that I absolutely love is how they fit in to everything. Um, and and what I mean by that is how you know they're just it's just perfect. I mean everything just lines up perfectly um, in terms of uh, the way they have you know somebody had to have sat down and engineered the best possible configuration for um, the base plate. I mean, you know, the best possible way that they could uh, um, set all of these studs on certain things and stuff like that. And to me, that's just amazing. Um, and, and I really, I really, every time I look, look at one of these base plates, I'm in awe because of just the cool way that they are done and how many sets they use these base plates in because of that. What are what are Sweden's plans? I haven't haven't heard. Yeah, the landscaping is really, really awesome. I have to agree with you there. Okay, so we're continuing. I know this is this is this is weird because of the way the camera's set up here. I wish, I wish I could work it out so it's it's a better. Well, eh, maybe there we go. You can kind of see it's not, it's not pretty, but you can you can kind of see the base plate a little bit better here. Um, but you can see everything I'm dealing with with all the different uh, stuff going on um, with all the, the cameras and and uh, different uh, rigs and all kinds of stuff like that. So 
All right, here we go. Let's let's try to get some more stuff on here. Now we're going to start putting the yellow stuff on. This is where it gets fun because of all of these pieces. Um, so let's see. All right. Now you know when you're here's here's another tip, and I know we've all done this when you're building with uh, with just the one buys, and they all get kind of cattywampus like that. Put it on a flat surface, just smash it a little bit, and it all works out nice and straight. We all know that trick. We've done that trick many times, probably all of us. But it definitely does help, um, and it helps in terms of making sure that uh, that those things are lined up straight and all that sort of thing. All right. So we need a couple of pieces here. So uh, this. Oh wow. Okay. So where does this go? Well, that's interesting. Um, all right, we got that piece. These pieces. Hey, Francisco, good to see you. Yeah, I tend, you know, when you're talking about uh, lockdowns and stuff like that, um, you know, I tend to uh, to um, be a be a believer in uh, in lockdowns um, personally because uh, well, one because I need lockdown because of my health condition, um, I can't take a chance. But two, you know, I mean, just from a medical standpoint, and I'm not, I have a PhD, I don't have an MD, but just from a medical standpoint, just common sense says that the less hosts that are available the less the virus is going to spread right um i don't get why people don't seem to understand that but uh um you know that's something that uh you know i'm a firm believer in and as much as uh, it hurts the economy and stuff i can tell you i really think that after this is all over the world economy is going to be booming like we have never seen it before um, because there is going to be so much pent up demand for services for everything um, and uh, I just I think we're gonna have one heck of a boom I could be wrong but um, but anyway it's enough of that Kitty Wampus, yeah, I use that. I use that a lot too. Yeah, that's 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 one of that's one of the terms that I use quite a bit. You know, when I'm when I'm talking about stuff, it's like, yeah, it's all Kitty Wampus, it's all you know, Kitty Wampus, that sort of thing. Um, so, but uh, I'm now I'm trying to figure out again, again, this is this is almost almost um, to a point where it's a puzzle because it's like I'm trying to figure out is uh, you know whoop, where are we at here? Yeah, is this over here? You know, is it like are those pieces? single pieces are they are they these l-shaped pieces are they one buys are they two buys it's just it's just really really interesting so um trying to figure it out and figure out what's going on um but we'll get it there yeah six figs tomorrow land would be fun that would be fun um you know i'm i'm out of room in in six figs and uh I, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do it's like my life is complete. <laughs> I don't really have any. I don't really have any idea what the heck I'm going to do once Six Figs is done. Um, I mean, I guess you know I got a lot of work to do in Figsdale, and I am going to build up. Um, and so you know, so I'll build things up and and maybe some gondola rides. Somebody had suggested one of one of the viewers had suggested a great idea to go from Ninjago City all the way over in a gondola ride across the uh, water to six figs and i think that would be really cool um i have a lot of a lot of landscaping to do that's my plan is to do a lot of landscaping to do a lot of very minute detail all the way around the city and the park um, with trees and grass and shrubs and different walkways and and waterways and, and and just you know flowers and all that kind of stuff so that's what i'm hoping to do um that's what i'm really hoping to do Ray, my friend, you are correct. You are correct. And that, that actually, that has been scientifically shown um, in many studies um, that I have seen. I, I don't really pay attention to the news media. Um, I, I actually, and maybe it's because I'm, I'm a professor and, and I just, you know, I'm, I tend to be a geek that way. But I look at the scientific data 
real science from real scientists, um, real doctors, medical professionals, um, all around the world, not just the U.S., but all around the world. Um, and, you know, and the data shows that, yeah, if we all sucked it up for, you know, a month, two months, there would be no hosts and things would, you know, things would, would die off. Uh, in terms of the virus and things like that, um, and we would have it under control. Um, but unfortunately, you know, human beings are such that, uh, um, you know, even during a world pandemic, evidently we can't come together as well as, um, as you know, we would have hoped. Um, and so, you know, we have to deal with what we have to deal with. But uh, I have faith. I have faith. I'm a firm believer in, in humanity and in the, in, in the good in people. And that good will always, always win over bad. Maybe I've watched too many Star Wars films. But, you know, maybe I'm more force sensitive. I don't know. But, no, I, I firmly believe that. I, I believe that. Okay, now I'm looking for a printed piece, but I don't see one. Ah, there's one. Okay. And I need a modified clip with a pl or plate with a clip. Here we go. All right. So that shows that's got to be under there. And then we have another one of these with a two by one and another modified plate with a bar. So where is that? Oh, here it is. I'm trying to hold the instructions and, and hold the instructions in one. I don't know, is my, is my volume okay? Because I don't know how well my mic, my mic is sitting kind of back, back on my desk here because I don't have much room for it. So I'm trying to, I'm hoping that y'all can hear me pretty well. Um. <laughs> Juliet is back there. Juliet and Ray are having a conversation, although they live in the same household. Um, <laughs> I do that too with my wife. My kids, everybody, we, 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 we FaceTime each other. We FaceTime each other all the time. It's like, you know, my wife's in the living room. I'm downstairs in the, in the game room or down here in the basement, and uh, I'll just FaceTime her, you know. Or, or even, to be honest with you, I FaceTime my wife from the dining room, and she's in the living room, which is only a kitchen away. <laughs> kind of sad. Rico J Ninja, how you doing? Good to see you. We're building this. The base plate is so huge that I can't get it all on camera at the moment. Um, we're at 29 viewers. Wow! Hi everybody. I didn't realize that there were so many people on here. I've just been trying to uh, trying to uh, um, build this and, and talk and and just kind of chat and uh, babble. Um, some might say. Um, one of my favorite comments from a viewer uh, at one point, and just made me laugh. And they, you know, they may have been being probably trying to be snarky, but I thought it was kind of funny. Um, one of my one of the comments was, "Will this guy ever shut up and just build?" And I thought that was hilarious. It just, I mean, it made me laugh for like five minutes. I just thought that's a great comment. That's a great comment. Now, here's something. Let me show you this. So you tell me, when you see this, uh, let's see, right over here, right here. What do you what do you see? Whoa, what do you see? Do you see a column, right? A column. And do you? Let I me mean, turn off this light. There. Um, do, do, <laughs> it's still there. And you see like a four by, I mean a, a a two a two by two. Is that what you see right there in that in that spot? That's what I see. I see a column and a two by two. But there are no two by twos here. Two by two blacks. I do not see a two by two black piece. So I got to figure out what that means. Thank you very much uh, before the brick. I appreciate the audio comment. I have not started to build um, 
the Moss Eisley Cantina. Um, personally, myself either. Um, I'm hoping to get to it. It is a 4x4 black piece. I just saw it. Um, I just saw it on the instructions from two pages back that I missed because I was blabbing so much. Um, but I don't see it here. Okay. Well, I'm going to look for it elsewhere. I know it's here. I know it's here because uh, our excellent Lego checker on the spot, Brooke, has checked it out and it is indeed all here. So I will... I found it. I found it. There we go. All right. One of the tubes. Let's see, I, I'm, I gotta catch up. Yeah, you know, in terms of things that I can make, um, and uh, things I can make, <laughs> Juliet is a spy. I know, you gotta be careful, be careful. Be very, very careful. Um, Julie, uh, not Julie has to spy. Um, one of the things that, uh, that, uh, I, I'm going to do, uh, Francisco, um, after Six Figs is over is I will be, um, building a Minecraft world. Um, I do have a, a table in the back behind this curtain. Um, and, uh, uh, I'm going to make it all Minecraft. And so I have about, oh, geez, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have, uh, 14 Minecraft sets. That I haven't built, and most of them are big, including the big uh, mine, like the big mine, that big, huge mine from like six or seven years ago. That uh, was, I forget what it's called, but it's 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 like four thousand pieces or whatever. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to build a Minecraft world because I love Minecraft. I love playing it. My kids and I have had a server for many years, um, and uh, um, so uh, uh, I'll build that, and then I'm going to. Um, probably, or I got to finish my, my Eastern Figsdale area, which is the Ninjago part and make that. I have all kinds, I have all kinds of Ninjago sets. I got to figure out where to put this. Um, and so I'm going to have to add some more tables to that. And I do have room to add a couple more tables there. Um, the Minecraft world will be built in the back. So it'll be a separate world and I'll build a portal over here in, uh, in Figsdale so that you can actually, you know, just kind of pretend that you go from one place to the next. Um, and then after that, uh, my plan is in our game room, uh, we have kind of a Disney theme because our family's really, we like Disney and we have all kinds of uh, Disney paraphernalia in there as well as sports paraphernalia. And so um, uh, I'm going to uh, build the, uh, the Disney castle, the Disney train, and uh, we have in our, in our wall, we have kind of like a half, like the wall, and then it's a half wall, that, that like a shelf, a halfway up, that goes all the way around the room. And so I'm going to put train tracks around there and make the Disney train just go around there. And so then that way, the Disney train can just go back and forth um, and things like that and, and be kind of cool as well. So that'll go well. So, I, have, I mean, I have so many projects. And then the other thing I'm doing is um, I've been practicing and... Um, and working on um, stop motion and to do brick films. And that's really what Figsdale and Six Figs will become um, probably in the next couple of years is a set for my films and my animation films. And I'm going to, I'm going to do some, hopefully some good stuff. Um, back in the 80s, I know that's a long time ago, back in the 80s I used to do claymation and uh, remember how you, they had the little clay figures and you move them and stuff like that. They did a lot of things like that. I did a lot of claymation and stop motion in the 80s with video, um, real videotape. Uh, and, um, and I did well with that. And uh, that was kind of you know, one of my things. I used to have service and stuff like that um, and consulted on that a little bit. But, um, but I'm going to do brick films. And that's so Six Figs and uh, Figsdale will be uh, basically kind of a, a, a TV series in a sense. Um, and kind of this will be, you know, set in this. So anyway, I got off on a tangent there. We'll get back to building. <laughs> I like the wild style comment. That's great. That's great. 
27 people. Wow. If you're out there, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, for stopping by. Um, this is great. Uh, as you know, we are building this set right here. Um, I'm working on it right now. Uh, it's a, a wonderful set, the Aquanaut set from 1995. Um, I'm building the main section right now, but the, the, the base plates are so huge that uh, um, I, I just can't put them all on the same, I can't get the camera um, enough to, uh, to, to do it justice and everything here. Um, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, um, we're just sitting here trying to figure out how to get all this, this on. And um, I'm almost there. This is kind of a cool technique here. Um, you know, there were very simple techniques back in the day uh, that were used on these sets. Um, they weren't fancy, but they got the job done. And that's one of the things, and I'm trying to find the right... Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Okay. Um, so uh, that's why. Sorry about that. These instructions, again, are just fooling me. They're fooling my 54-year-old eyes. Um, but as you see here, you see when I first saw this, it looked to me like it was one plate, but it's actually, it's actually two by three, two pieces of two by threes. Um, so yeah, so these uh, again, this uh, this stuff can be rather tough on an old guy's eyes, um, as well as as a young person's eyes too. Um, but uh, um, let's see here. I'm gonna put these together here, and uh, now I need some modified clips. Plates with a clip, and I hope I didn't use all of those because I need some. Okay, and here we go. Here we go. Good. Thanks to to Ray for bagging these up for me. This was great. I'm just I, like I said. I'm just so thankful you guys sent me these. Thank you so much. And these are not the right ones. The oops, <laughs> I got the wrong clips. I got the wrong size clips. You know, you do that all the time, right? When you're building a set, you get you use a clip like this when you actually need a clip like this. So you use a horizontal clip instead of a vertical clip. Ugh, I do that constantly and it's frustrating. It's frustrating, but thank goodness they're there. You could make some really good mocks with these base plates. Um, and uh, I've thought about that in this this right here, to be honest with you, Ray, you know, I was thinking about what I could do with, uh, with this set. And one of the things that uh, um, I, I think that I might do is, because uh, I want to keep it intact um, as much as possible, but I think I might make a, a, uh, an aquarium out of it. So in other words, it'll be an aquarium that people can go to in Figsdale. Um, like the Figsdale Aquarium, and um, I bought some some of the newer stingrays and 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 aquatic life and coral and stuff like that from uh, um, the new set, the city sets, and so uh, it's part of my bricks and pieces haul. And so I think I want to make some of this into an aquarium, and I think that would look cool. Um, some other suggestions, as other people have done, of course, in the past, um, is okay. Now here comes. Here comes a trick. Do I have these? Oh no, I used the wrong clips again. <laughs> okay, so see, this is why we need to use the right clip. I use the horizontal clip, I need a vertical clip. Okay, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I wanna use this as an aquarium, I thought. Some people have suggested, um, I know Greg uh, from GJ Bricks, one of my good buddies, good friend, swell human being, absolutely swell. Look at this. So this is cool because this comes up. This comes up as well to provide this in here. So you can actually take your figure. And if I find one of my, where are my little aquanauts? Where did they go? Oh, here they go. So here, so I can make him or her slide down here. They come out here, and this is how they get out in the water. So this is how they go into the ocean, because this is a lab. This will be a lab right here. And so this is how they dive into the ocean. They open this hatch, come down here. They can stay down here in case there's any sharks or anything. Once it's all clear, they come out here, and they swim away. Awesome. 
absolutely awesome. You know, it's little things like that that make these 90s sets so cool. Hi, Douglas. Yeah, you know, um, I was, I, I, I was going to, uh, to, to do a video uh, on, on the underwear set, but I decided that uh, I wouldn't. I'd keep the Lego underwear and my Lego shoes and my Lego clothes and stuff. I'd keep that private, you know. <laughs> don't you, don't you just love spell check and all that kind of stuff i'll tell you just before speaking of that just before we came or i got i uh, got online here uh, my daughter piper and i we she w or wanted me to watch they wanted me to watch um a video on google translate and it is there's a a, a, a youtuber called melinda i think and she does songs on Google Translate and, or, and things on Google Translate. So basically what she'll do is she'll put in, you know, like a song, song lyrics or tweets from people and stuff and put them in Google Translate and see how they come out. And it's just absolutely hilarious, some of the stuff that, uh, that, that uh, Google uh, comes up with. And so that's one of those things. Underwater, underwear, it's all, you know, it's all fun. It's all fun. I did not know Legoland California did that. That's really cool. That's good to know. Yeah, Douglas, you want to see the? I mean, you want to see the uh, the box? Um, let's see here. Here's the box. Here's what the box looked like. I'll keep that up for a few minutes. <laughs> Viking. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so. Let's see here. I'll just keep I'll keep the box up there for a second while I work on this next part. Um, I think I'll get this next part up here. Um, I'm holding my hand in front of the camera now since you can't even see the camera because you're seeing the box art. Um, but uh, so we'll get this, and I need a slope, a one by two slope, one by two slope. And a three by one slope. All right, let's find the three by one. Three by one slope. Here it is. And this goes over here. Okay. And so this then goes over what? Where does this go? Uh, okay, I'll be right back with you. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Again, here's the instructions. Here's the instructions. I'm trying to figure out how this goes. Let's see, I don't know if I can get that in there. You can see it. How this piece, I don't know, it's hard to tell. How this piece goes right here, but that doesn't seem to fit. So I gotta figure out what to do. Colorado, Colorado's a great state. Rocky Mountain High. A great, a great song. And the Rocky Mountains are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I must say, you know what, maybe this goes up here. Oh, 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 this does. Okay, so this goes here. Wow, who would have thought that? That goes there, okay. All right, so that goes over there. I am, yes, I am, Cooper, you're right. I am uh, from Ohio. That's where I grew up. Um, lived in Michigan, lived in West Virginia. I've been to uh, 42 states.
That's okay, Douglas. We all make mistakes. I do have the Winter Village sets. I, I just ordered the Elf set, uh, much to my wife's dismay. She said, hey, what's this $99 on a credit card for, or on a debit card for? And I was like, uh, I bought a winter set because uh, we won't be able to celebrate uh, Christmas with uh, all of our relatives. So uh, I'm just going to make a really nice Lego display, okay? <laughs> All right, so you can see my mug here while I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this out here. Uh, this is interesting. Um, and I can see, I'll tell you what, Ray, I can see why it took your daughter five hours to build this thing. Now, unfortunately, I can't be here for five hours. But, man, I'll tell you, I totally get it now. Because it's like, you know, a hunting and a pecking here. Um, going back and forth, trying to find this stuff. Um, and... Uh, it's uh, it's not easy. It's not easy, but you know what? The ultimate results are really awesome. Uh, this goes here. Sorry, I think. What? One, two. Okay, this goes here. I'll try to follow along here. I'll try to try to check out the. Uh, Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. All right. So again, trying to get all of this piece together is, uh, is fun. It's definitely fun. But it is so worth it. So worth it. When it is all finished because it is just an absolutely I don't even know if you can see where, where my hand is uh, where am I where am I over here uh, there we go I'm way over here now Let's see if I can move this yeah yeah having some problems with the with the rig I'm gonna have to for the next live stream, if uh, if anyone if ever anyone ever watches after watching this one, um, the next live stream, hey DZ, um, I will uh, I'll get the rig set up a little bit better here. Um, whoa, because I'm a little a little cattywampus as we say, right? Um, there we go. Okay, um, but but I can still do this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Dr. McBrick. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I just love those buttons. Um, okay, so again, we get to use one of these really cool pieces like this. And these are pieces you don't see very often anymore. I don't even know if you see this one at all anymore. Um, but it is awesome. And so we get to put that um, down here onto this um, as a support. And so this, oops, there we go, as a support. And so that supports that there. That supports this here. Um, that like that okay um, just trying to figure out make sure I have all these pieces together that's enough to uh, to drive you bonkers um, let's see now I need what else am I looking for here you know one of the things I thought about on doing when doing live streams is maybe I should like put all of the parts in the spot that I know in which I will be using them um, and then that way they're all together uh, and I don't have to worry about it so much because uh, I think what's happening here is I'm at a point where I am trying to find certain pieces and I don't see those pieces um, but I do see them now 24 people still hanging out. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all your support um, on, you know, on YouTube and, and, and for watching me on YouTube for, 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 for I, I appreciate, 
you know, you watching me on Instagram and, and viewing my Instagram channel. And, 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 and for those of you that are on Patreon, I appreciate that. There's a lot of stuff I've been putting up and I hope, uh, you know, and I know a couple of people I see on here for Patreon. I know uh, I've been putting up a lot of a lot of videos, um, stuff that if I put up in the YouTube algorithm, uh, it, it just it, it would actually kind of demote my video in a way, um, or devote d demote my channel. And so, um, you know, I, I'm I'm I hate I hate to do that, but I can just put I can put so much more fun stuff. And stuff that's just like, you know, kind of, you know, casual talking to everybody, you know, type of stuff on um, on Patreon uh, than I can on YouTube. Because if I if you know, I'm only a small channel. And so if, if I put something on YouTube, um, maybe even this video, who knows, um, that's uh, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's more casual and doesn't necessarily um, bring in the big numbers and the big likes and stuff like that. It's kind of niche. Um, YouTube will actually, actually, you know, kind of uh, um, penalize me for that. Um, there, in, in, you know, and, and so, um, so I, so I'm really enjoying for for the small group that we have. I'm really, really enjoying the fact that we're able to have some of those conversations um, and to, to for me to show you some of that just kind of normal fun stuff. You know, Stephen, I actually agree with you. That is true. There, there is a point at which your eyes do get kind of blurry and fuzzy. And we are on two hours. And oh my gosh, we are at two hours and 25 minutes here. Um, so yeah, I, I totally agree. It might be worth a break. Um, Granny Disguise is on here. You are in the house, Granny Disguise. It is so good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Granny Disguise. She is a, a wonderful granny um, in disguise. And uh, I just, I, I love her humor. I love the fact that, uh, that she hangs out once in a while. When she sees me on, she gets on. And it's, it's just kind of fun. So it's good to see a granny in disguise. I appreciate that. Um, giving me more of a, uh, um, a little boost of energy, so to speak. Uh, so that's really cool. Hi, Jewel. Uh, how are you? Unfortunately, I don't speak your language, so I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure, um, you know, what you're saying, but, uh, um, and unfortunately the software I'm using right now does not let me do translate. Uh, but, uh, hi, thanks for sh uh, showing up. Um, I think a snowball fight, uh, Francisco would be awesome and would be excellent. Uh, I think that's probably something that we'll have to do. Last year, what I did with my Lego winter sets is I got a whole bunch of that 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 snow, that fuzzy snow from a craft store, and um, I built all my Lego sets in that fuzzy snow, and that was actually kind of cool. Um, and uh, we kept it upstairs and put it on the mantle and stuff, um, and it looked it looked it looked really nice. Okay. All right, so we are on to the next page of the manual. Um, and so this is what we are going to be doing now. So we're gonna be adding a few more things um, and uh, just continue to go. I'm gonna to continue to go for a few more minutes here. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to be able to complete the whole thing for Ray and Juliet because you are so wonderful for donating this and sending this to me. Um, I can't thank you enough. My family can't thank you enough. And I'll tell you what, as soon as this uh, plague is over and um, my, uh, my oldest uh, son is able to come and see me with my grandson and stuff, this right here is going to be something that I think we're going to get enjoyment out of and we'll probably reminisce and talk about it uh, for a long time um, and things like that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I cannot wait. Um, all right, so there are some little pieces here that I need to look for. Um, this piece right here is is rather awesome. Talk about prints. We don't, you know, like you say, Lego doesn't print stuff much anymore. Um, in in all these '90s sets, they used to print everything, um, and you know, just even very simple, but to the point, and it actually made a big difference, you know, in these sets. Um, even though um, they 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 weren't fancy, um, they were still they were still pretty cool. So this actually will be 
this is actually that little spot there I can't really show you without bringing it down yeah right here um, that's actually going to be the door the entrance way to the lab um, and so there's there's that little panel there that the uh, that the the, the, the divers can uh, can come in on and so so that's going to be awesome I think I'm at a point now where I have to bust open my next set of parts um, in order to get everything um, look at this release the Kraken don't you love that I love this part and this is a part you don't see anymore but I just absolutely love that I know it's not a Kraken but it is kind of a uh, octopus squid the other thing is check this out how many of you have seen those huh 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 yeah probably not if you're young, you probably haven't seen these. Um, but these are the bushy pieces, and they're half red, and they come in half sizes. And they also was what we know as the green bush, right? The green bushy piece. But put together, they form some coral, and they really look cool. Um, these and they also look very Christmassy, <laughs> very holiday spirit. Um, but uh, but yeah, these are cool. These are cool. So there are just some great pieces in this set. Some other pieces that come in this set. Again, there are some chrome pieces. There's the chrome crystal pieces. So those are really awesome. Um, whoa, there we go. Those are cool. Uh, we have, again, these pieces here, which I like because they can be used for so many different things. Um, all kinds of post pieces, all kinds of pieces like this. This piece here, I know I showed this earlier on, um, but this piece here with this and this, that is a cool piece, and that can be used for so many different things. Um, studs on the side construction. You can, you know, with, with the two angles that you have there with the anti-studs, you can really put some stuff in there. Um, those are some great pieces. And, of course, we talked about these pieces with the curves um, and things like that as well. So uh, oh, I'm bad with the camera, aren't I? Um, there you go. So those are some those are some really cool pieces uh, that I love from this set. Um 28 people hanging out. It's great. Well, thank you so much. I hate, I, I'm going to keep going here because we got some people hanging out. So I don't, I want to keep building as much as possible. Um, again, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that uh, you can't see the whole thing because my camera is not high enough. My rig, I'm going to have to get it up higher so that you can actually see my whole build table. Um, but right now, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of have my parts all over the place um, trying to find uh, and trying to decipher the instructions from the 90s remember the instructions from the 90s um, how those uh, they basically were just like all right here you go here's you know no don't worry about the parts just put them together and they didn't even outline them you know if you, if you look at that if you look at that there's no outline on like what goes where at least on the new ones you have the outline of the new pieces and where they go you don't get those on these so um, it, it is a it is a hunting expedition to do these and do these right um, so uh, for now I'm going to work on what I can, and uh, we will continue to uh, to use some of these pieces. Again, we have some big beam pieces. Really encourage you if you have any sets whatsoever that include these, and you want to part those sets to use these pieces because um, these are great for propping up, especially if they're one by fourteen, one by sixteens. They go across an entire half base plate, um, and uh, and they're great for propping up roofs for floors for doing all kinds of stuff like that so i would use um, i would get as many of these beams as possible they're not cheap nowadays so uh, when you do buy old sets or you find them in your old sets or in a lot that you get from a garage sale or something like that um, hang on to them and use them wisely um, because uh, you know if, if you know the, the temptation is you have a house and you're building a house and just to stack them on top of each other and then that way you don't have to worry about that wall but don't do that Use regular pieces, you know, use two buys or, you know, the, the corner pieces or, or four by ones or whatever, but use these for bracing and bracing so that you can actually, you know, use them for floors and ceilings and things like that. All right, let's see here. Got some more um, stuff here. All right, so this goes here and this goes all the way over. Oop, let's see if I can bring this down here a little bit. Goes all the way over here. And why is that not? Okay. 
Something is amiss. Something is amiss. Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. So that goes there. Now I need a two horizontal modified plates with a clip. That's where those horizontal modified plates with a clip. Hey, look what I found in here. Look at this. Look at this piece. Isn't that cool? A printed a printed piece with a little radar screen. Isn't that awesome? See, this is the kind of stuff that Lego used to do a lot of um, that really, really made a huge difference um, in these 90s sets versus some of the current sets. And I'm not dissing the current sets. Lord knows I've spent a load on the current sets. Um, but uh, um, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, there was something to be said about the uh, 90s sets and things like that. Um, they just they just had pieces that you're just not going to find anymore. You're just not going to find them. Oh, you can find them, but you can find them on BrickLink at a premium, right? The other thing I want to show you here, because I know I'm not going to probably make it um, forever, because we're at uh, two hours and 35 minutes, um, is are the door pieces. Now, remember, if we look at this uh, set, you can see here where those, right in the center, are these two huge doors. Um, you can see them a little bit better there because they're kind of uh, embossed. Um, so they, 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 they make the, uh, the lab kind of enclosed. Well, those pieces are these. And I'll show them to you here. Let's see here. Look at the size of these. Look at the size of these. So these will go here. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I can't show you on the side, but look at those. Look at those. Those are beautiful. I mean, beautiful pieces to me, um, you know, when I look at when I look at this set. Absolutely gorgeous. Along with that, and these are in great condition too. I mean, re look at that. Really great condition. Um, then we also have these. Now we've seen these in many different sets, but these are huge. I mean, these are a lot bigger than we're used to, right? Um, and it's at that dark blue. Um, it's that really beautiful blue. And it just looks so good, and it matches these base plates. It'll match these base plates really, really well when we set them down here and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, this, the, the, these pieces alone, to me, are worth their weight in gold. You even have a shovel piece. And the reason, like I said, the reason I'm showing you all these pieces is because we're going to have to probably wrap up the stream pretty soon. Um, but you have this shovel piece. This shovel piece is a piece, regular shovel piece. And see, it snaps back. Here, let's go to this view. Snaps back. Okay, so you got the kind of a mixel joint right there or a hitch type of thing. And you have the shovel. You can pick stuff up. And there you go. And that is awesome. And it's made of the clear blue material like you would see underwater. And they do that so that that way you can see, oh, where are we at? Where are we at with the camera? Oh, there we go. That We can see underwater when we pick up stuff. So, you know, so the idea is that if you are in a submarine or if you're in the in the base station, you know, if you're in the, uh, the base station here and you're moving this around, you'd be able to actually see what you're picking up through the water, through the shovel, um, those are little details that Lego does so well that you just don't get on the clones. You just don't get on the aftermarket or the uh, you know this, the 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 non Lego sets. Um, these little details about you know let's make this shovel so that we can open it and close it and let's make it clear and let's make it in this blue color so it goes with you'll be able to see it underwater. I mean that's to me that's just awesome. Just awesome. These are the little things that excite me as an AFOL. <laughs> All right, we have 26 people still online. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm going to grab some water here. I'm going to take a drink of it. Um, and uh, it's not coffee. It's in a Starbucks mug, but it's not coffee. If I drank this much coffee, oh my gosh. 
It is pure water. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, right here. This has to go on this spot right here, but you can't see it because it's off camera. Yeah, it's off camera. Um, that goes there. Now I need a modified clip with a bar. And do I need two? Nope, I just need one. Okay. Talking to myself. So, so what else is going on out there? It's chat room is quiet. I know you probably just have this on in the background. And uh, you probably just listen to me just kind of babble about stuff. And that is okay because that's kind of what live streams are about, right? I mean, it's hard to watch a live stream from start to finish. But I'll tell you what, i got to give you credit for those of you that have stay, stayed around. Um, because I know I'm getting tired. Um, just, uh, just hanging around. Um, but, uh, all right, so we got that. Um, I'm not getting tired of building the set. I love the set. I'm just getting tired of... Uh, this even comes with chains. This even comes with a chain. What's that about? Well, we're going to have to see what that what that's about um, down the road here. Uh, so I might do I might do a stream too. I don't know um, of this, or if not, like I said, maybe I'll just do a final a final uh, build quickie uh, uh, view of this so that uh, you know everything uh, everyone can see it and stuff like that. Um, but this is yeah, this is a cool set and. Uh, I'm trying to find a few pieces now, and I'm, I am, I think I'm getting to that point, uh, Stephen, where I'm getting so, my eyes are getting to a point where it's like, you know, dude, I, uh, I gotta, you know, go take a break because I'm starting to get kind of, uh, well, one, I'm starting to get kind of loopy. Um, two, I'm starting to get kind of, uh, my eyes are not seeing what I need to see. And I'm missing everything, so I'm afraid that uh, I'm going to miss out on a piece that I need. All right, I think I got a few pieces here. We have 26 people online. Wow. Well, you know, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Um, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I really would appreciate it. That would be wonderful. Um, we're trying to get up to 5,000 subscribers. Um, we're, you know, we're almost there. I mean, we, I think we're about 300 or so away, or 400 away, um, which is quite a bit. But, um, you know, I'd love to get there before the end of the year. That would be awesome if possible. Um, I know that can't always be possible. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I hope that you like uh, my channel and I hope that you like the videos that I do um, thank you so much for all of you who uh, who do um, support uh, support me on patreon and those of you who support me by subscribing and by watching my videos and hitting the like button so that YouTube knows that you do want to see more of my videos because because I, I enjoy doing it and I enjoy building my amusement park I enjoy building the city um, those two things make me happy um, and I know that I have, you know, I've mentioned it before um, in, in various videos, but uh, Lego, you know, has, has indeed saved my life, you know, uh, and uh, um, it has uh, helped me to get through some very, very difficult moments in my life. Um, and uh, um, I think that's, that's not unlike a lot of us, right? It's not unlike a lot of us that uh, use Lego as a cathartic tool. Um, because of uh, um, just the fact that, uh, uh, you know, it, it is something that, uh, um, that helps us. And, uh, and, and that's, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing. And so when I'm stressed from work, uh, which, which I'm not so stressed anymore as much um, lately because, one, I'm working from home. Two, I've got great people I work with. Um, I, I, I love the people I work with, um, you know. My employer is, is the university is just oh hey here comes this chain all right let's build this um, my you know my employer is 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 we've gone all online with our courses for the moment uh, for the past two terms um, and so we're trying to keep everyone safe and uh, um, keep the students safe and keep the the, the staff and the faculty safe and um, they're just really really um, we've always been where I work at the forefront of online education as a matter of fact and this isn't a commercial or anything but we uh, we 
I came to the university to uh, um, to help start an on the online movement um, for uh, for moving the, the curriculum um, online and uh, um, we basically moved all of our courses online so you could get the courses online as well um, completely and uh, that has uh, been a godsend um, during this plague um, it is also um, you know we've been doing it for 25 years so anyway I don't know why I got off on that tangent but for for um, you know I, I just feel grateful for uh, for that but Lego has helped to keep me sane it's helped to keep me um, really kind of keep me alive uh, and you know and uh, when it got you know when things get bad um, it, it really helps and so uh, um, I'm I enjoy building and I'll continue to build and uh, we'll continue to go from there. Um, so let's see. Uh, what? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm building this right here. This is a, uh, this is a little more complicated because I have to use some... Uh, i got to find a place to put my instructions. That's where i got to do here. Okay. I got... Um, wow. That's my biggest problem. I have no place to put my instructions right now. Um, definitely, definitely I'm going to have to step up my game when it comes to to my build my build area because my build area is such that I am uh, having some some issues here trying to get the right stuff alright, well 25 folks out there, don't see anyone commenting, haven't heard any comments unless the comments are stuck um, or haven't read any lately um, I'm in a kind of kind of stuck what do I do with this this is an interesting piece I got all my cogs okay Got all of these. Oh, there's a bushing. How about that? There was a bushing. That's exactly what I needed. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So there's the bushing. There's the cog. Or wheel, flywheel, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I know that uh, some people, some people call them flywheels some people call them other stuff some it's I, I've always been one of those those folks who are like you know I uh, I try to, uh, to to do my my best to to uh, call parts by the right parts but I I don't know I don't know a lot of the part numbers I'll tell you somebody that knows seems to know every part number in the world is uh, Robin Hood bricks who has an amazing channel and does some amazing builds um, but I'll tell you what, he just he just rattles off those those numbers like crazy, and I'm just in awe of his ability to do so. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to build some of this here. So I got uh, this. Have you ever had one of those pieces? There you go. They won't come out, and you're really tempted to use your teeth. But you know, it's probably not the best thing to do. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so that goes there. What? That's crazy. Okay, so there's a bushing and a housing. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. Ah, got my hands all over the place there. Oh, there it is. Well, like, is that the piece I need? I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. So what that means, there's even, huh. So what that means is given all of the parts, given all the stuff going on here um, for this particular build, there are so many things to see. So many different builds are, are th little tiny things to make. And I know that... Uh, um, my, uh, uh, my, you know, my, my, my friend Ray told me that their daughter who built this um, to make sure it was all set before they sent it to me um, took five hours. It's been almost three hours right now, and uh, I'm, 
about half done. So uh, um, I am getting to the point where, you know, it's been a long day. Um, I did some things before I actually started this live stream uh, and uh, um, have some more things to do this evening. Going to have family game night where our family, um, myself, my 26-year-old uh, Emerson, um, Piper, and uh, my stepson Adrian, my wife and I are going to play on the Xbox. We play family game night. We have the game shows, all the, those game show games and stuff. We play like Jackbox and some of those games. Um, and uh, we're just going to sit there and we're going to play as a family and just kind of have a nice uh, laughter and fun and all that kind of stuff um, after we have some dinner tonight and everything like that. So we're going to wrap it up. I'll be wrapping it up here. Um, don't forget, please, you know, if you want to support me on Patreon, that's great. If not, I totally understand completely. Um, I hate the fact that my ha hand is moving over here. Um, but you can also support me on Instagram um, by checking out uh, my Instagram page. I do post pictures every day. Um, and uh, post pictures of all the fun happenings going on in Figsdale and all of the stuff going on in Six Figs Theme Park. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook. I'm available on Facebook at Dr. McBrick. Um, I am at drmcbrick.com as well, um, and I try to be on there as much as possible. Um, but uh, I haven't updated it in a while, um, and uh, I hope to, uh, to, to get that updated as much as, as I can. Um, this is what the set's supposed to look like. This is what it currently looks like. I do, I did get this built for those of you that came on, that came on late, um, or just came on to the stream. I have the sub built, so the sub is built. Um, and, uh, we were joking around earlier for those of you that weren't here, um, with, uh, little, uh, baby Leonard from, uh, the, uh, the, the Big Bang Theory. He's actually a little baby Leonard, not, not the big Leonard. Um, but uh, yeah, he's in there um, and for various reasons. But, uh, but there's all kinds of cool stuff with this sub. You see it opens up there. It has the articulation arms, the magnets there where you can grab stuff. There's the pincers that you can pinch stuff. You can move these arms out and just look at all. Well, here, let's, let's go here. Look at all of this space in this sub. You can open all of this up, all of this up, and you have all of that. It's really hard to do it now ah, with this uh, base plate here. You have all of that space. You just don't get that amount of space in these new sets that Lego has. Oops, I, sorry, I got to close this first. Um, you don't you don't get all of those all that space nowadays um, that you get in this sub. And so this is a really cool sub. It has great um, uh, swooshability. Um, in terms of, uh, oh, there's Leonard. See, he's in there. Great swoosh ability um, in terms of being able to, you know, take it through and, and play with it like you're underwater and all kinds of stuff. Um, nothing fancy. You know, there's this uh, propeller here. Um, and uh, then you have these that are just basically just anti-studs. But um, they're there to uh, give you a suggestion of uh, um, thrusters and stuff like that for the, um, the sub. Now, it doesn't float. You see all the holes in it. There's holes going into it and everything like that. So this would not float if you tried to float it. Um, so anyway, uh, so yes, so so we're doing that. We have that going on. Um, this is the the parking space for the sub, I believe. Um, so the sub can actually sit right there uh, and everything like that. Um, and uh, with that, I would like to say thank you so much for um, all your support and thank you Ray and Juliet and Brooke for this set. I will finish this set up and I will post pictures on my Instagram. I'll probably, uh, and then I'll post some pictures on Patreon as well um, and, and, or a video of me finishing it up and things like that um, and, uh, and put maybe kind of a, a short, quickie video posting it on my YouTube page as well. So remember, I'm available on all the socials um, at Dr. McBrick on Flickr, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Patreon, on, uh, geez, Pinterest, on just anything. Dr. McBrick, I have the trademark. It's me. It's who I am. Um, I enjoy the Lego community and I enjoy all of your support. And thank you so much for being, I don't know why my Facebook thing is still up there, um, but thank you so much for uh, um, being uh, um, part of, uh, of uh, the, uh, the Dr. McBrick family. And uh, with that said, Thank you very much, and um, we will see you again on another live stream. And thanks for putting up with me in this new technology. I'm just learning. So everyone have a safe weekend. Make sure you uh, mask up 
and uh, social distance, and uh, let's uh, wipe this plague off the face of the earth. See you later. <laughs>